We come to this place for magic. We come to OTK theaters to laugh, to cry, to care. Because we need that, all of us. That indescribable feeling we get when the lights begin to dim. And we go somewhere we've never been before. Not just entertained, but somehow reborn. Together. Dazzling images on a huge silver screen. Sound that I can feel. Somehow, heartbreak feels good in a place like this. Our heroes feel like the best parts of us and our stories feel perfect and powerful because here they are. OTK theaters, we make movies better. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the OTK Film Festival hosted by myself, Will Neff. We had over 200 films submitted. Of those films, 10 were pornography. We decided that 20 of those films were ethical for human consumption. And those 20 films we will view tonight. But first, all films require money. And so I will do an ad read. As you all know, OTK launched Mad Mushroom at last year's Video Game Expo. I'm excited to say Mad Mushroom and Light Fox's latest game, Rumble Club, is available to playtest from now until March the 28th. The game is so good that it made me rethink all of Stanley Kubrick's work as trash strewn in a street and pissed on by a wandering vagrant. So please join our playtests and get the exclusive cosmetics at otk.to slash rc. Ladies and gentlemen, to, ju uh, to judge your films tonight, we have collected some of the greatest film and streaming talent that Austin has to offer. Our first critic of the night Back from Parts Unknown at MP Lull. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Nick Holland, coming in, also known as Jason, winner of the 2008 MVP Hockey High School Varsity Participation Award still talks about it to this day. Would rather actually still live in that time period. Actually went to Bangladesh and trained in the mountains after being diagnosed with chronic grease sweat disorder from eating too many fries and uh, returned as a junior uh, Navy SEAL. Happy to have him here today looking fresh, looking healthy and uh, better than ever. Uh, Nick Pollan, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. And now our second critic of the evening. Our second critic of the evening. Peach Jars. Ladies and gentlemen, the Peach Jars. Known to cry whenever there is an animal present. Um, seemingly made her way into streaming recently and uh, First name Peach, last name Jars. Looking wonderful tonight. And now, our third critic of the evening. Soda Poppin. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Soda Poppin. Chance Morris, arrested after killing a family of five while driving high on ketamine, used his wealth to buy his way out, and now gives TED Talks about taking cold showers and how sleeping upside down increases your testosterone. 
has three books on it, and casually plays a little bit of World of Warcraft on the side. Chance Morris, ladies and gentlemen. And now, for our fourth critic of the evening, Mr. Andy Milanakis. Ladies and gentle- gentlemen, guest star who just showed up, actually uninvited, ladies and gentlemen, Andy Trilanakis, um, celebrity guest star, um, known for such movies as uh, Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer, um, and uh, I believe was also in that new movie, Poor Things, uh, coming in looking so good with the uh, Gucci coat. Really excited to hear what he's going to have to say today. And um, ladies and gentlemen, Andy Trelnakis, celebrity guest star. And now Gucci. for our fifth critic of the evening. Our CEO, Dan Clancy. Lady and gentlemen, Dan Clancy, actually CEO of a small startup company in Ohio from Dayton, Ohio, actually, where I'm from, uh, specializes in turning rice into water. Um, it's been going pretty well. Um, so we're here to support him today. And, uh, and now <laughs> for our sixth critic of the evening, Mr. Wakethy Wilder. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the actual Giga Chad himself, Wake Wilder, known to go to the gym, um, known to uh, actively helping Extra Emily grow that gat for 30 days. Looking fresh and beautiful today. Um, Also known to call Petri when it needs to be called in World of Warcraft Hardcore Mode. Make sure you listen to him when he calls it. Ladies and gentlemen, Wake Wilder. And now... For our seventh critic of the evening, our seventh critic of the evening, and now, ah, law enforcement specialist, Cletus Cornwood. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, yeah. Cletus Cornwood. <clears throat> um, known to shoot on sight, um, he will absolutely take the shot. And uh, if you're looking for an S fan, he's kind of not here today. A split between two personalities. Hopefully, we can get a full version of him tonight, ladies and gentlemen. But uh... and now for our final critic of the evening. It is my pleasure to introduce to you my co-host, Vincent Sear. Ladies and gentlemen, Vincent Sear, the unstoppable force, the immovable object. If he's in the same room as your mother, likely to make her squirt like Cytheria. Very happy to be here. Looking quite good. He's coming in with those gold heels. Not that many accolades. I guess you could say he did a pretty good job considering he's been ad-libbing everything here tonight, folks. So let's get into the film festival. Let's have a good time. Ladies and gentlemen, the films that we're going to watch tonight have each proved themselves to have a merit in their own way. And so our first film of the evening is a film that inspired a horror inside of me and a grotesque beauty that made me want to vomit and fall in love. Tonight, we will start with our first film, which received the honor of the worst film in the entire film festival. Enjoy. Oh my God, what is this beautiful object? (laughs) Can, Can they hear us? Yes. Oh. Clap, clap, clap. Oh, so nice and plump. Oh, and over here. Hello. <laughs> Mommy. 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 So cute. Hello. How do you do? Hope you're having a great day. Thank you. 
This sucks ass. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? Are you saying? Yes. <gasps> you can tell me anything. Don't worry. I find it really What? Me too! Oh, it reminds me of a Yargos film. Like the it's lobster the or killing drama. the sacred deer. I mean, there's a lot of it, you know. Congratulations. There's no way that's actually it. That was it. It won worst film out of 200 that's, films. That's not even funny. Wow. Fun. That was just fucking horrible. And what was it? So it, 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 it came in with the precursor of worst <laughs> film. I no. thought we'd at least like make a funny bet. Okay. No, it gets, you know what? It's tough to be worse that short because yeah. like a really bad film is one they have to watch it for a long time mm -hmm. and it's really bad, right? Uh, you know what, Dan? You're absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so bonus points for that. Now, um, audience is also allowed to score it, and it seems as though they loved it. They thought it was bullshit. Smart. They're lying. I mean, it could make you laugh. If it could be I got me laughing. Okay. God, it seems polarizing. What do you think this means? Uh, it spoke to the little boy in me. Was that Russell in some BDSM gear? It was. Mm. I think it was a leprechaun so, outfit. Chat, remember to vote. And if you would present our Oh, right. Sorry. OK, my bad. <clears throat> uh, let me, OK. Who hired this guy? Silence. Is that going away? <laughs> oh, he's not being paid? <laughs> okay. Now, uh, now that we have the worst film out of the way, I don't know which camera I'm looking at here, um, it's time to move on to the best action. Mm. This film is about our friend, do I read this? You this can, is a spoiler. You can say whatever you want. Oh, I'll say it. This film is about our friend, Seer, as he embarks on a mission to satisfy his bloodlust by killing every last member of OTK. This is a true story. I already love Of the future. It. Yeah, yeah. Please enjoy. Oh, it's, never mind. It's called Kungus Kills OTK. Can we play God this? I, I, li I like this already. Yeah. I'm enjoying this already. This is based on I'm just trying to be the best that I could be. That was the intro? Damn. <laughs> yeah, I could do this. I, I can watch this. Oh, shit. Oh, you made it. We weren't even in there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 what the fuck is that? Okay, I die first? Are you kidding me? Good little dude. Yep, and then you? Yeah. What? Come on, see you really. <laughs> I 
I want you to <laughs> hit me as hard as you can. You <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Asmongold. Where's the rat? <laughs> the boss battles. <laughs> Wanna, motherfucker? Someone used us laying on the floor. Oh my god. Right. Wow. That was sick. I wonder how much that CGI cost. After credits, you clean. Oh, oh that's right. Where's the <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, Buck Allen. Put you down and fuck with the wrong crew. a lot to me. Dude, you wow. know what's crazy though is I never really realized how many times Seer has tried to kill us. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Mm. That's true. Well, yes. A lot of many more are. that you don't know yeah. about. <laughs> the failed attempts. <laughs> Phenomenal. I like how film. Godfather is based in kind of pseudo reality. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. This was shot in Sicily mostly, I think. Sicily? Yeah. 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 On you location. Can see the, I like the dark undertones. Yeah. They, um, they dug around some streams. They got some cinematic moments from the They really streams. sourced a lot of footage. Chat, remember, there is a poll right now so that you can give your opinion as well. We are all recording our scores, which you all should be doing. Speaking of scores, yes. does Scorsese have a hand in this film? I heard he produced it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Makes sense. I think it was executive, executive produced. Uh, oh, there was a lot sense. of cocaine makes involved. Sense. Yeah. Absolutely. I like how most of the footage in that film had nothing to do with the green screen footage that we made. It was yeah. just your past. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just shit that you actually you did. Yeah. <laughs> I like. I personally enjoyed that. It was kind of a documentary, me. actually. <laughs> I, I personally enjoyed that it was a, a, about me. So. Mm. Mm. Uh, Beach, what did you think? Uh, chat voted it a ten. Mm. Really? Beach, what did you think? Yeah, she's uh, micless, actually. Okay, thank you. Beach. All right. <laughs> I think Peach is like yes. two or three. Okay. This is a men's right, thing. Right. This is a men's thing, right? Why would you just do it? <laughs> this is just a yeah, yeah. You can just scream into my mic if you want. It's like the real Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> well, how many mics do we have? Okay. <laughs> <sighs> All right. I have to not say. I know, it's true. <laughs> well, it's time for our next category. And honestly, this one I'm actually afraid of because I'm afraid of all sorts of horror movies. This is going to be Best Horror. Okay? This film is about a streamer who gets one guide by chat and accidentally summons an Elderich horror. Now, I don't know if I said that right. Eldritch. Eldritch? You did good. You did, you did good. Now, the name of this film, I cannot pronounce it, but I'm going to try my best. D log go massa. <laughs> I get a chance. Do you know what this? It's by Sardaco. Mm. 
Sardako? Yeah. He was in our. He was in my guild. He yeah. made a film. Yeah, Sardako oh, made this. Yeah. Shit. What an idiot. I love it. Okay, let's, let's go. go. Uh. <laughs> Yo, Shadow 309, thank you very much for the five dollars. Oh, and he sends in a link. That's what is him. this? I do be like this. this? In early 2012, in early a streamer named Log Namsa was live on stream showcasing his swordsman skills in the backyard when he fatally cut himself and died. The entire thing was caught on stream, but since then the clip has been removed from the website's database. <laughs> If you say his name five times, he will show up and kill you. Okay, now I know you guys are trolling. Say it. Guys, I'm not saying his name five times. Unless we get a Twitch Prime in the next five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey, okay, I can't believe that actually worked. That was a fat bait. Actual sir? Yeah. Say it, say it. Oh my god, you guys. Okay, all right. Since we got 12 Twitch primes, holy crap, I have to do this I have to do that like way more <laughs> often. Here we go. All right, fine. Lognamsa, 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 Lognamsa. Lognamsa. There, I said it. And nothing happened. So, can we get back to the regularly scheduled programming? <laughs> They're spamming F. Oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Fail. Why are you guys typing F? <laughs> <laughs> My stream is we fine, guys. Fine. I have no drop frames. Oh. A doobie like what the hell? A doobie. <laughs> Doesn't have a star porch. I'd like to point that out. So that's a problem. Not yet. <laughs> Whose fucking power breaker is there? <clears throat> it's in the what? Okay. Maybe it's an apartment. I like the gecko. Oh. Ooh. You ever seen the movie Lights Out? No. I've seen The Ring. Oh, this is great. This is an actual movie. He's dead on my screen. Leaf coming along. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm actually scared. I don't want to. Get out. What Get out fuck? of the house. My advice to you is to leave the house. <laughs> Instantly. I they, bet you do this do. in real movies, too. No, oh, come on, come on. Not the ring, not the ring. He starts crawling out of there. Oh. Oh, light. oh he fixed the computer. What a nice guy. Yo, new light. <laughs> Dude, new mood. <laughs> it's your favorite color combo. <laughs> Guys? Are we Yo. live? Hey, where'd he get the new lights? His view count went up, though. Yeah, view should double. Are you oh, there? Hello? Yeah. Are you there? Can you hear me? Oh, Guys, I think something out. is watching me. It's I really think something going or someone is in my house. I, I need help, you guys. I'm not kidding. I don't know what to do. I think I'm losing my mind. The guy goes, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> the chat has been on point for this. Pay the power bill. <laughs> it's, a, it's always the streamer's fault, right? Pay the power bill. Chat being useless as usual. Oh, Frostborn.
that was a good I loved one. that. I absolutely loved that. That was good. Who do you, who do you guys think the ghost was? That was clearly Asmongold. Oh, it kind of looked like, what's the guy's name who originally started Twitch? Um, Emmett or, or Justin? It looked Justin. Like Justin. It looked like Justin with long hair. It looked like Justin hair. a little bit. Yeah. It, well, I love that. Clearly an homage to Lights Out. You know, the best part as well, chat was very realistic in that. Uh, the, the realistic chat was... Useless. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> chat not caring at all for his mortal terror. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so no. well. I'm going to die. Okay. Oh, well. I can always go to a different channel. Yeah, yeah. pay power bill. <laughs> Low band. Do you think he was on a stream like, hey, guys, I'm trying to like make a film. Can you all like type these things for me? For sure. That was <laughs> offline chat, for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, crafty. Chat, if you want our mics live during the films, put one in chat now. If you don't want them, put two in chat. Any other number and... Uh, well, they're still You'll be excommunicated yeah, from the Wait, community. they're actually rating the film one and two. I can't believe that. You should start saying instead of banning people, you should say you're going to excommunicate them. farming elves. <laughs> wow, I, I love that, though. Yeah. That was phenomenal. What that do you guys that, think? That, was a, that was a short film. I'm giving that one a nine. That was a short film. I have to have room for improvement. You need to keep space for that. I mean, that was pretty. That was Hoss on Twitch. Oh, I thought it said hose on Twitch. <laughs> mm. Mm. I very much enjoyed that. That was phenomenal. Anyone else? Any commentary? <laughs> I mean, to have that level of like filmmaking and like a fan made thing, it was like pretty pro. Yeah. I think, I think it benefited from us having seen the other two films before it. Mm. Right? Because then we're like, oh, wait, this is an actual film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Peach, what I, do you think? Why? Why are they talking like that? Thank you, Peach. Yeah, I think, <laughs> yeah. I think I would uh, like to see more green screen film. stuff. <laughs> Andy? She just goes on and on. Could you please present our oh, yeah, yeah. next film? No problemo. I'm just going to bring this clipboard up. So did so each one of these have it. a category? Yes. And what category was that? That was horror? That was horror. What was King's Kill? That was best action sequence. There was a lot of action in that. There was quite, gonna relax. quite a bit of action. I'm waiting to give a 10 to where <laughs> I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. That is true. I am terribly partial to things about exactly. me. Seer did give himself a 10. Can we turn down Peach a little bit? She's uh, spiking yeah, she's, the mic. She's kind of overpowering. Someone's in trouble later tonight. This <laughs> film is a documentary about gym going etiquette and how you can better yourself in just a few simple steps. It was shot at Iron Forge Gym. Shout out to my boy Canute Wake. Uh, a super duper boring, absolutely average, totally typical day at Iron, Iron Forge Gym by Umami Alex. By now, the internet is familiar with guy. the exciting brand new Iron Forge Gym. Every nook and cranny has been documented by some of the top content creators in the world. But what is it actually like when all the selfie sticks are put away? This is a super duper boring, absolutely average, truly typical day at Iron Forge Gym. Say hello to Alex. She is your totally typical OTK viewer, and more importantly, an absolutely average Iron Forge Gym goer. Alex will be our guinea pig as we demonstrate the key everyday philosophical pillars that serve as the foundation for Iron Forge. Alex arrives at the gym in a mundane manner. Once settled, Alex runs into the first Iron Forge staff member, Jasmine. Jasmine perfectly exemplifies the first pillar. Maintain community. Not only does she provide flawless customer service, she also creates a bond with the gym members, helping them feel like they're right at home. After some chit chat on meal prep, gym drip, and of course, anime, Alex heads for the locker room. As you can see, Iron Forge Gym is quite spacious. You'll never have to wait on that next machine. In the locker room, Alex finds a typical type of fellow gym goer. Oh, help me, help me, try to... The only Forge girl. <laughs> I've been stuck in this town for days. In an area specifically designed for selfies, the only Forge girl records her next piece of premium content. This beautiful woman illustrates the second principle of the gym. Empower creativity. Whether it's through something like this documentary, or sharing your hard-earned gap to paid subscribers, Iron Forge wants you to flex those creative muscles. Whoa, hold your horses there, Alex. Before we can get to lifting, we need to cover the third philosophical pillar. 
mind over muscle. A true gym rat understands that hitting that next PR is 90% mental. And not only do you need to be psychologically prepared, but you need to practice that mind-muscle connection. What's poppin'? It's me, Soda Pop. Okay, before we start. Here we've got one of our esteemed ISSA certified trainers, Soda Poppin, demonstrating a classic mind-muscle connection warm-up. Now, now, Alex, I know warm-ups are boring, but they're important. Give it a shot. Perfect form. So to go over what we've learned so far, we've got maintaining community, empowering creativity, and mind over muscle. This leads us to the last but most important pillar of Iron Forge philosophy. You may have guessed exercise, but it's actually education. Yes, classes are key to the Iron Forge experience. And today we have two very charismatic trainers teaching a class on surviving edge weapons. Based off of the 1988 police training video, Surviving Edged Weapons, trainers Will Neff and Sear have come together to teach self-defense against various edged weapons. And today's focus is on the very real threat of the everyday longsword. Listen, if you think you're gonna go out there, grab the knife with the hole in your dick, snap the blade at the base, it's not gonna happen. What's gonna happen is you're gonna get stabbed up. You're gonna get infertile. I'm talking impotent. I'm talking your dick will not work. Your wife leaves you. Your kid does not contact you anymore. And you get so desperate for cash, you have to make a movie called Surviving Edge Weapons. Here at Iron Forge, we know that knowledge means power, and power means gains. And there you have it. A super duper boring, absolutely average, truly typical day at Iron Forge Gym. Hopefully, for those of you at home, you were able to finally see what a gym is like behind the streams. Thanks for watching, and remember to always push your limits forward. Wait. When do we get to the weightlifting? Wow. <laughs> I think that's a violation. At that point, that's a twist. I'm not an expert in our policies, but I think yeah. that's a violation. Yeah. What if we put a green screen oh. over the back of my head? <laughs> it's green screen material around your dick. Uh, like he's sucking something invisible. <laughs> Chad, this is your opportunity yeah, to vote. A violation. Wait, that was a great ad. I don't know how you set that up, but that was good. I want to go to the gym now. I would like to go to the gym. So, yeah. so here's the crazy part to me is it just it looked like it was shot like it was shot it looked weird like it looked like it was like surreal almost yeah. just with the the, it was, the field and it was so well green screened and then I think what they did is they added motion and tracked it so there was yeah. a parallax between yeah. the person in the background so it looked like it's it like was somewhat realistic yeah, yeah. well it was, actually it wasn't a parallax <laughs> <laughs> actually <It's been> <laughs> all right we're all wondering <laughs> was the front real? Yes, no, it was no. a real fart. Yes, I had a, you can ask anyone, you can ask Finn, Jacob, all of them in the room. I had a very gassy Finn, time. Finn, Finn, confirm real, real fart, fake fart. Me, when I was farting at the green screen room, Finn. Just real fart, real fart. I'm giving an extra half point for a real for fart. A real I had a, seri it was actually like, it stopped being funny. If I did that, I would shit myself. Wait, you fart, you farted multiple times. We could do a massive, while I, people were filming you. Yes, I was on the green screen. In and I was a closed-in like, room. Yes. Farts are in line for like rides and stuff. And blames it on kids. Uh, but the thing is, like, I'll admit it. Like, I, if I fart, I'm like, guys, it was me. I'm sorry. Huh. And in that room, I mean, they heard it, so I didn't have to tell them. But it was bad. Any other? This just seems more information than I needed about Soda's fart. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. True. I mean, would you? Okay. All right. Whatever. I, mean, I could also fart and just not say anything and blame it on someone else. But whatever. Yeah. That... Your thoughts. Thank you. Ooh, that, that might be a violation um, as well. That's true. Next topic. Me? You are up, <laughs> CEO. While he is presenting, is there any chance we can get these two poor fuckers a stick mic that they can share? That'd be awesome. Thank you, production, if possible. Is the card up there? We're sending a mic down that you will share. Doesn't someone have but to mostly a card? <laughs> I mean, if I put no, this... Is this it up there? It's taped. 
Uh, Dusty Beaver First, said we... Oh, sir, Will, oh. thank you for inviting me to this spectacular event. I really appreciate yeah, no it. No problem. It's a pleasure. And um, I have the honor of um, introducing this, this film. It's called... It's for the best use of green screen footage. Ooh. And it's a masterful film, masterful film. Um, as you may know, for those of you film butts, buffs, um, editing green screen footage may seem simple. Mm. Uh, but adding into pre-existing footage is a difficult task, requires a large amount of skill, creativity, um, uh, and a lot of ability and expertise with filmmaking, and you need to hone that. And so this film is called OTK in Star Wars, to stick mm. with the theme that we've been seeing here. And this is by the one and only Mario 5380, not to be confused with 5379, Mario 5380. Mm. Mm. Got it. There you have it, Film Butts. <sighs> Fuck you. I can't believe you disgusting piece of crap. Real hammerless. Didn't I see you two at the genius bag? What's up? Watch this. You're pretty tough. Just gonna start with Jim. No! I'm sorry. Hurt me. Oh god. I may be out of meta, but I'm not out of options. Okay, you guys got yourselves a ship. The plans you refer to will soon be back in our hands. Oh my gosh! Celebrate good times, come on! Yeah, let's party! Let's party! Oh. <laughs> This, ladies and gentlemen, is ruining the planet. I say we kill it, burn it. This guy this stinks. Worship. This equals bad. Oh, jeez, I've never flown a plane before. Oh, it's just my son. Oh, uh, hey, guys. Use, Use the force. The force. I feel like... What's up, y'all? your boy, Asmongold. Like we're being watched. Guys, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, you know, obviously I stream in that room, but the truth is I actually renovated my entire house right. into a huge mansion, and it's just the actual room that's remained the same. I don't think so. Uh, what you guys see on camera actually is, in fact, a set. A rainy day keeps the shower away. While you all got well-paying jobs, I watch anime. That is not badass. I love you. I f f fucking hate you. I hate you. I hate you! Yeah, that's right, I'll do it again. I've never loved you! I've never even liked you! Techie, you do not yet realize your importance. Join me, and we can end all the drama and bring order to the gotcha community. Never join you! Get away from me! Get away! If you only knew the power of it. Everyone talks shit about you behind your back. And I agree with every single one of them. You make me sick! Who the fuck talks shit behind my back? You're free! You're a fucking free! You're free! Well, fuck you then, Tectoon.
we can see a rarely seen species found off the tip of Africa. Their life is only 15 minutes long. What the fuck? We call them the South Zambian fuckbirds. Are you sick fuck? <laughs> Me. Welcome, young Kirby Horder. I have been expecting. I fucking hate you. I hate your guts. I hate your family. I hate your dog. I hate what you stand for. <laughs> 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 That was so good, dude. So good. That part if was you good. make Techie interesting, you did a great job. Dude, dude, Tech Gun is so good, dude. Chat, please vote now. What a film. What a film. That was insane. That was unreal. Seamless editing. That was I don't so know how they did that. It was so... The, the script was good. The, the voiceover uh -huh. for Vader, you and the Adam, or the Carbonite. <laughs> wow. Yep. Um, as soon as Spader started saying tech tone, I was like, oh, shit. <clears throat> gotcha community stuff. Yeah. You see a lot of those style of, like, you know, parodies and green screens. Just, like, everything was really well done. And it was, like, funny, too. It wasn't just, like, cringe funny. It was, like, actually funny. Yeah. Did you like my part? I liked your oh, part. For that. You did you good. You were great in that movie. You did the part good. was good. <laughs> you know what? The, I mean, I, I just feel like every every clip they used and every like every sound bite, everything that people said fits so it well worked. into the scene. Yeah, it was so funny. I think yeah. your acting, uh, S fan, in that one hallway scene was phenomenal. You Thank did you. you did a great Thank job. You. Thank you, yeah. S fan. Tecto's acting all the was really good too. He, he went for it. <laughs> yeah, they actually they actually made him funny. <laughs> the rare. You know, I like the David Attenborough. Uh, love you, Tecto. I, I love me some David Attenborough. All right. On to our next film. <clears throat> Peach, can you not be so negative? <clears throat> She's got a point. But I agree, Wake. And now it's time for another advertisement. I would like to shout out a very special guest here today, Starforge PCs. Starforge is changing the PC game once again with their new line of custom PCs and plate lights, head over to softwoodsystems.com to pick up one of the best PCs in the entire fucking universe. True. We were joined by one of the PCs today. Prestigious guest. Next up, after that very feel-good advertisement, we have our best feel-good film. Oh, this no. film is about a streamer who struggles to go live, not unlike myself, and the journey she takes to reignite her passions. A Streamer's Dreams by Pablo Q. Sanchez. All right, guys, those are some fun games today. Thanks for hanging out on stream. Uh, make sure to stay updated on the Discord to make sure when I go live again. But that's pretty much it for today. I'll see you guys later. Peace.
Did y'all hear about the new update? I'm like super excited to finally start playing it. I cannot tell you how long. gets extra points because it was the first one that didn't have OTK members all over it. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Mm. Those visual... I was in that, by the way, me and Emily. It was a clip from my stream. Yeah, I know, mm. I know. That, that was the only one. But it was a clip from your stream. You yeah. didn't participate yeah. at all. Well, and either in Sardako's with the horror one. Uh, true. That also didn't have OTK members. We're That's, not that cool. That is I like true. Yeah, no argument, no argument. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Soda makes a lot of good points. Mm -mm. I thought it was going to be like a twist at the end where it's like, when the hell am I actually awake? It's like she woke up and then she's like mm. still... That I thought she's going to be stuck inside the stream. Yeah. And then it would have been a horror. So maybe it wouldn't have <laughs> been a category. Chat, remember to vote and remember that your vote is important. And we, I like this. It's yeah, a journey of discovery. The, the visual effects were, in, were insane. The editing wow. was really good. I was like, what? It was trippy. I was danked up. It also time. spoke to me a little bit in like, some days it is hard to go live. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, you've been hanging out with Hassan too much with those. Yeah, a great streamer once told me <laughs> streaming is the hardest job in the world. True. Especially harder than oil mi mining. And yeah, <laughs> especially harder than oil mining. <laughs> he said and coal that. mining, too. That was, coal the, that was the other too. sentence he said. Yeah. He said, streaming is the hardest job in the world, especially harder than oil mining. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the streaming being the hardest job in the world? <laughs> yeah. Dude, shut up, dude. <laughs> I'm a, I'm gonna keep it real. I wasn't in this one enough, and it makes me upset. Oh, okay. I'm just wow. Streamers with egos never. I loved it because I was in it. So how about that, S fan? I, Peach. Peach has a lot to not to say about that. I'm sad. I'll I'll well take said, over. Peach. Well yeah. Said. I was a little confused by the dream. Like it was artistically shot. Yeah. The effects mm. were cool. I was a little confused as to what was happening. The narrative was a little. Yeah. Like, unclear what, completely what the narrative was. I knew I would like you. She had lost thing. inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> she went on a journey in her dream. Yeah. And she and found the passion to stream. I don't care what Will says yeah. about you, you're cool. Oh, thanks, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love Andy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, Nick, you had incredible acting in that. Yes. I did. I did. Phenomenal. So. I, I, I inspired her to go live, you know, because I stream so much. Mm hmm. Uh, wake? Want to go up? Or do you want to say what you want? No, 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 no. Tell, talk about you, your talk, you, talk film, man. Can we not do this here? Okay, fine. And now our next film. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, my son. Boys and girls. Wild. Best drama? We are presenting for the best drama. Drama, drama's everywhere and nowhere all at once. We are as- No, it's not, no, it's not. Is that what's written? Can we not with the tension? Sorry. It You're doesn't have to be here just because there's drama. <laughs> this film is about a dysfunctional family and how their actions affect those around them. Mm. Even if they don't realize it. Mess by Zealand and Zion Rivera. Is that his car? You gonna be okay? It's a fucking mess. Mom, let me introduce you. This is Karina. Hello, nice to meet you. Hi, Karina. Nice to meet you, too. Welcome to whatever shit show we got going on here. <laughs> You're fine. I'm so glad that Ike brought you. It's really a fucking mess in here. I invited Lucas by so he can help. Dude, it's so good to see you. Oh my god. See you too, Lucas. It's been such a long time. I know. Who is this? This is Karina. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So good to see you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let me get back to helping. It's good to see you guys, okay? Hey, let me introduce you to somebody. Damn it! I'm gonna go check on your mother. Hey man, wanna come join us? 
He's good. You should see my house. My dad yells instructions at my mom for a dish she's cooked for like a thousand times. And then I have to help, my sister has to help, my little brother has to help, but my abuelita ends up making it the entire time. At least she didn't almost burn the whole damn house down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mom, you almost burned the whole house down. Hey, you must be Ike's brother. It's great to meet you. Half. Half brother. Well, it's nice to meet you. So you and Ike are together? Man, what you doing? Relax. I'm just asking a question. I'm sorry. I just didn't know. It just can get confusing with the list he has. Man, fuck you! Now, I got a list? Not I got a fucking list? Yeah, you gotta shut the list. fuck up. You don't know anything. You wanna talk about a list? Let's talk about the long fucking list of shitty ideas you try to pitch me, huh? About how you cling on to anything and anyone who can get you by, huh? Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. It was me who always got his by, stupid fuck. Hey, Big I fucking idea, guy. He has ideas that are gonna save the yep, fucking yep, earth, everybody. Sure Look, well, let that's me ask you this. Too. Who do you think had to put up with all you that dreaming shit? Do me! Do shit. Do this fucking shit. me! I did all that oh, shit you while you, you doing and shit? Danny you spewed Fuck more and more Fuck bullshit and vision Fuck until she eventually got sick of it, right? Fuck you. Well, where is she? Where the fuck is she, Ike? Gone. Just like the rest of your worthless ambition and promises. Gone. Hey, what did he promise you? The same shit you promised Danny? Look how good that fucking went. Or does it even matter to you? Same promises, different bitch. Hey, hey, calm down. Oh, well, what you? What the fuck is your problem? I came to meet everybody here, and you're acting like a total dick. Who do you think you are? You're right. I am a dick. Yeah, yeah, you fucking are. What the fuck happened between you two? Just some bad business. Oh my god, you pobrecito. Guess what? Well, I don't give a shit. Okay. Okay. Why okay. the fuck okay. are you bringing okay. this okay. up now, bitch? It's crazy. Danny used to say the same thing. Man, shut the fuck up. Come on, pussy. You're the pussy for how you fucking left. You and Danny pushed me out. All for what? For you guys the last 10 months? I've been building that shit for four years. Also, you can replace me with every weak, pathetic part of yourself. Well, fuck you. You try to take credit for everything I fucking did. Every idea that I had. It was me. Always me. And I got tired of carrying your stupid ass. Carried? Yes, I fucking carried you. You carried? Yes. You're fucking lazy. You're inconsistent. You don't keep any of the fucking promises that you make. You let me down. You let Danny down. And you're going to let her down too. You're a mess. You're a fucking mess. And I may not have this vision, but I will always be better than you. Because you're lazy. You're inconsistent. You're a fucking mess. Hey, babe. Thank you for getting food. Got some wonton. You wouldn't believe the deal I got on these egg rolls. Got some crab baboons. Hey, E! Get off that computer. It's your birthday. Oh my god. Wow. That was like a real film. Wow. wow. That was, that was hey. a real film wow. with good actors. Yes. Shot so tight. I think Damn. it's interesting. Green screen, like when you're editing green screen, obviously OTK and Star Wars, like you see the vis visual difficulty of, of mm. doing that. But a film like that, the difficulty is almost much more latent because keeping those conversations so tight, keeping that back and forth, that's probably, you know, a hundred shots spliced yep. together and demonstrates a lot of talent. Uh, chat, remember to vote. I love that one. Also, the fact that they managed to get so many people around a table and make the dialogue work without it being mm -hmm. awkward and the pacing was perfect. Mm -hmm. There wasn't any gap between the dialogue. They were, they were... That's very hard to pull off. Yeah. Strong acting by every single yeah, person. Yeah, every single really person. Yep. I was like, oh my. 
It reminded me of, if you've ever seen the uh, Fishes episode of The Bear, where they go home for Christmas. Yes, that was cooker. a great episode. It was kind of like a mini homage to that, and I loved it. In response to that, Will, someone in chat said, I don't know, man. They were just arguing. Well, Interesting. Here's what I'm saying. <laughs> well, you, you, could say, you could say that about anything anyone's doing in any movie. Yeah, you could I, say that about the chat. Chat. When yeah. sometimes even walking into a room is difficult to do and make it look good yeah. on camera. Dude, okay. Dune what? 2, I don't know, bro. That's just the hero's journey. Well, <laughs> so yeah. I think that it's important to frame who the protagonist was, which was the streamer, yeah. right? He was the uh, unknowing protagonist throughout the entire film. So the story was less about the fight they were having and more why he was on his computer, bound to it, mm. which makes it more compelling to me. Now, this comes into... Because well, he was live, that's why he's on the computer. Th this comes into the realm me. of how do we grade based on the involvement of OTK green screen? And was that a thing that was supposed to be happening? Was that supposed to be included? Who cares? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Me, I mean, I don't care. I, <laughs> I, think that was a, I think that was a sick film. I was truthfully under the impression we were going to be judging stupid-ass movies made from our green screen stuff that we did. I, I was real pleasantly surprised. I think the fact that the film is about a streamer and features a chat, I am okay with, with that being inclusive enough of the... the, the theme of the mm. I, I, th I will say I do think that we could have used a Tectone gotcha rant somewhere in there yes. yeah. but it, that's something yes. that this doesn't have to be the only run of the show so so what is the takeaway what is the moral of the story that that as as bad as a twitch chat can be it's not as bad as your family at home or no it's oh. not the moral of the story is the guy on the computer crying needs to you know toughen up because that was every day for me growing up look how I turned out so mm. <laughs> Peach well so to okay, wrap it up so that's Peach not good. what do you think <laughs> Uh, I knew, uh, I knew yeah. so, I agree, on agree completely. So that was that's that that, that was mess. Yeah. By the yeah. Speaking of which, Peach, you uh, you're presenting our next film. Well done, Zion. Yes. Well done. Well done. And Zion was uh, uh, elevated. Yeah. Uh, incredibly talented. Incredibly talented. And Zion and his brother are, are uh, Zealand are very very talented. <clears throat> Can't wait for this next one. Don't all laugh together. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> oh, that sounds crazy. No. Yeah. yeah. I've been waiting for this one. Oh, an A twelve. Yes. Oh, an automatic voice message system. Tell <laughs> them, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey, Stanley. This is Doctor Drene calling from the Wellness Center. Just checking in on your bud. Notice you haven't been to your last couple of meetings, and uh, just want to make sure you're doing okay. Remember, Stanley. It's important to keep up with your medication and. If you're having any trouble or feeling pretty down, make sure to reach out to your family and friends. Remember, your wellness is important to us. We want to make sure you're doing okay. We're here anytime you need us. Please let me know. Hey Stan, what's up? You know, not much. I've just been busy with a few things. I love that. I like that. 
Again. I can see myself in that guy's shoes, yeah. Yeah, one more time, <laughs> just for anybody who missed it when, when Peach read it, that was our best avant-garde film, Parasocial mm. by Adrian A. That is my, that is my type. I love that yeah. distorted, juxtaposed, Tupperware deranged. Tupp- yeah, that's how I personally watch streams. Yeah. A lot of Tupperware. I, oh, I love that. such a great viewer, you know? Um, Chat, remember to vote. <clears throat> How'd that make you get, feel? Who? Anybody. Hungry. Uneasy. Yeah. Um, I, I kind of hungry. I mean, that type of shit really happened, so it makes yeah. it creepier when it. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, we, we know the reality of that. shit is like imitating life. Yeah. And you could really see, especially with problems people have had. I, Not to get too real, but like that makes no, it creepier. I don't know if you've ever seen, by the way, everybody should watch this, any, mm-hmm. the film following the guy who mailed Bjork a bomb and what was like hell? obsessed with her, but he filmed himself for a year leading up to it. Mm. And the it's hell? the most deranged, like real look into the psyche of someone who falls in love with someone they don't know. Yeah. And uh, it gave me shades of that. Like, it What was it? Why did he want to send her a bomb? Because she got married, and if anybody else was with her, he wanted to kill her. And wow. then he put a canvas behind him and blew his brains out in, on a canvas. And recorded it? Yes. He I also mean, has an hour of him just recording his tiny penis and going, this is a punishment for myself. What the hell? He yeah, a tiny penis? He has a tiny penis, yeah. Okay. It, it, but th- not this guy, but the, the movie I'm... Un- unrelated. <laughs> unrelated film. <laughs> unrelated film. Point is, this shit happens. Yes. It does. I mean, the the terror was a little heavy-handed at points, like eating spaghetti, crying in a shower. Mm. Like, it was a little bit over the top, but it was still fun to watch. We know this happens, Chance. Yeah, because, like, why would you eat the spaghetti oh, yeah. in a shower? It literally happened to us. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. trying to portray <laughs> how... If you ever find eats. yourself eating spaghetti in a shower... <laughs> Watching Emmy Rue go outside. Yeah. Don't Unless you're the kid from Gumbo. I've been going out. Actually, you know what? Don't go outside. Do not go outside. I'm trying to guide you. Drop your chocolate in the bathtub and then eat it. Yeah. A good one from A24 as yeah, well. Yeah, that's another A24 banger. Yeah. Always bangers. Pete, Peach, what did you say you'd change about the spaghetti? Like how you cook it? Uh, mm-hmm. That's, yeah. uh, that's actually point. true. Good point. That would have been better. All right. Next film, S fan. Uh, oh, of course. Hey, don't fuck this up, please. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, try. Please don't. As in, what you're I... not Cornwood. All right. Okay, I know. I get it. Where, do, where should I put this? But can you use an accent when you get up there? Any kind of accent, really. <laughs> yeah, the sponsors. Just any Except accent. Except okay. yeah. maybe. All right. Maybe. Honestly, Wasn't that required in the contract? Yes. Um, accent, really? Yeah, it's, yeah. Just it's throw some, in the contract. Yeah. <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> uh, my name is S. Fand. Uh, man, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, I am here to tell you that this film it is it is about a one honest, hardworking man. He comes to America and he struggles to convince his friend just how hard a streaming can be. It is called one true. Esterim by Vincent Davi. Thank you. Thank you. And, and That's racist. For the accent, real quick. <laughs> Howdy there, partner. It's not every day I see someone sitting in the stream like that. What's going on, friend? Howdy, ma'am. Well, you know, we'll just try and get a few hours of streaming in before sundown. What'd you say? Streaming? Yes, ma'am. Streaming. Well, I've heard of fishing and I've heard of swimming, but no, sir, I ain't never heard of streaming. That's too dang bad, ma'am. Streaming's great. I like to get here and do this thing every dang day. I wake up early, get right on down into the water, and just, you know, start streaming. I just go all day if I can. Sometimes I miss a few days, but I try and do this as often as possible. You know, really just my, get, my, get my flow going right with the stream. I mean, you can watch if you like. So you're just saying that I'll sit here and watch you? Surely. Why would anybody want to do that? Ask them. Them there's some of my most loyal viewers. 
Viewers. Yeah, viewers. They're just sitting there watching me, which is kind of like viewing. Heck, they're even giving me coins. Wait, so you mean they're paying you? They're even feeding me too. Hey, thanks for the sub. Nah, that's prime. I mean, I don't really understand it, but people are paying you, they're feeding you, and there's obviously a bunch of people over there that are enjoying what you're doing. So, I think that you might be on to something. I'd say so. You know, you could join me. Call it a, call it a co-stream. Come on, you know you want to. You could be the next big streamer. Introducing Jim's Iron Forge, where the art of craftsmanship meets the strength of iron. At Jim's Iron Forge, we do one thing, and we do it exceptionally well. We forge iron. At Jim's Iron Forge, iron isn't just our business, it's our passion. Imagine a world where everything is forged iron. That's the world of Jim's Iron Forge. Come see us today and experience the difference of true craftsmanship. Jim's Iron Forge, where we forge dreams out of iron. Okay. Well, here I am. Am I doing this right? Yeah. Looks about right to me. How long do I have to do this before I start seeing the coins? Well, that's the thing. It, it took me a good couple of months before they started showing up. I mean... I tried a whole slew of things. I tried, uh, I tried kick streaming. I tried a thing called Twitch streaming. I even tried this thing that I called Facebook. to know what works for me. You just gotta keep trying things until something feels right and people start showing up. Hmm. Maybe I could run and play super fast. <laughs> I could call it a speed running. No. What if I just stacked a bunch of fruit? Hmm. I don't see that working for too long. Maybe someone would enjoy watching me fry some taters up for my dinner later. Hmm. Howdy there, friends. Sure isn't every day I see people sitting in the creek like that. What's going on? We're, We're streaming! streaming. Oh, Very cute. That was creativity. I love that. I love that. That was cute, taking the literal, you know, the yep. literal approach there with everything. I liked it. When he got the sub and said, that's prime. That was, that's a good That ad. was good. That the was fake fun. ad was excellently done. The fake done. ad was really good. It's, it's Jim's awesome. Iron Forge, or Iron Forge Jim, as some people call him if they know him. That was, that was delightful. I love that. A, a true American folk story, too, which we haven't had any. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It also showed how difficult streaming is. Yeah. Oh, it is so difficult. yeah, yeah. yeah. But nice, a little bit, uh, a little bit of Cohen Brothers going on there. A little you bit know? of levity. Yeah. I enjoyed that. Yeah, and like Fairly Brothers, like it's like um, over the top, but it knows it's over the top, like some Naked Gun type shit. Yeah, mm. I like it. I like it. Uh, Nick, incredible acting as well. Thank you. Yeah, um, do the best I can. Mm -hmm. No, you're so talented. Hey, that's what God gave me. Okay. I like. I haven't seen slapstick on our platform. At no, all. that was some good old fashioned. That was some airplane. Straight slapstick. up, uh, straight up on the nose. Yeah. Like yeah. Shirley, you can't be serious. Yeah, I am. Mm -hmm. Don't call me Shirley. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was a good. Was it Peach. Oh, yeah. She yeah. Uh, best thing same thing. Okay. So good. Anyone so, else have anything meaningful to say? It's funny. Chance. I, I said plenty. I said many oh, things. 
You're, you're oh, off. fuck my ass. Okay. Okay. Yep. okay. My bad. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm gonna yeah, some oh, One true stream. Chance, can you not swear, please? It makes uh, me My bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> the answer is no, he cannot not. Surely you won't fall. Chance, you got this, buddy. Thank you. I'm gonna do my absolute utmost up here. All right. Don't mess it up again. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so, this is the best mystery film. This film is about an IRL streamer who encounters a mysterious stranger and his discovery that they are more alike than he thought possible. It is called Leech Ooh. by Station 3 Media. This is by a company. It's not even a name. That's crazy. Wow. Thank That's you. what I've been saying, bro. Everyone else is so fake, dude. I'm the real streamer on this platform. Oh, I'll squeeze it. Thanks for the three bits. Three more and I'll do an outfit change. Anyways, though, guys, listen. As I was saying, the three hardest jobs, Aiden Ross PR team, underwater welding, and political Twitch streamer. No debate. But listen, I'm gonna grab a drink real quick and then let's head downtown. Hands up! Hands up, bitch! Give me the money! I... Don't try anything! Try anything, I'm gonna pull your fucking head off! I need the money! I I'm fucking dropping this storm right now. Yeah, right! I... Get down to the safe! I don't have Get my... down to the safe, yeah, bitch! I don't, I don't... Open up the safe! Food, Slowly! You're leaving right now. I don't, I don't have access to the safe! What the fuck is going on?! You think you're fucking playing?! <laughs> Welcome back to another stream. Listen, I know I'm a little bit late. I don't know if we're effing or not, but hey, it's an OTK production, okay? Anyways, listen, we got a lot of content on the menu, a lot of TikToks to react to. Very good. All right. The whole got the drink, guys. Right. Did you just <laughs> fucking shoot that? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Wow. That was hilarious. Uh, Chat, go ahead and vote uh, right off the bat. Bro, someone kind said. Of the coolest set we've seen. That was a real ass convenience store. That was insane. That's, and it, it, I, want, I want to know what Hog Squeezer in chat has to say. Hog Squeezer and MVP. <laughs> Reading How three bits as well. Like, yeah, I like the bits, like, as he died. <laughs> How many people in real life robbed a convenience store or a gas station? So <laughs> <laughs> One's in chat? <laughs> I, I do. We don't have those stats. I do in sub -relief. I would. I'd be surprised if I've never accidentally walked out with gum I didn't pay for. <laughs> oh, that's fair. <laughs> like accidentally, I'd be surprised. Who here has never walked out of a convenience store ever in their life without taking something? Oh, I've never stolen. I've never stolen in my life. Mm. Not even. My mom's a probation I mean, like, officer. Like, no you're not way. even buying anything. Like you just walked in, said, "Yeah, you know what? I'm never. good in the walking out." There is never. only one place I've, that I've, I've never done. That. Have robbed. But it's just like it's not just stealing. Like buying. <laughs> 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 yeah. Anything? And it's oh, out sorry, I misunderstood. Charged too much because they robbed. I misunderstood what you said. Yeah, yeah. Um, I I love that. I loved the little features from Hog Squeezing. Hog Squeezing kind of silent at the end. Mm -hmm. Thought it was a good acting job. 
from everybody involved. Um, I think the cashier did great. I think the cashier did great. The cashier did. was I thought the narrative my favorite one. was it was really good filming, but the narrative towards the end in terms of it, it was good, but not great in terms of the narrative after the it was a little abstract. I, I, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. here's the thing. So the the girl who was the cashier. Yeah. That you were talking about. Yeah. She's actually never acted before. Whenever she did this submission, they talk about their stuff. Yeah. They didn't even tell her that they were filming anything. That was. Uh, yeah. That was natural. So that's how she was able to really channel. Oh, she was just there. Had a gun they put on. Had a gun put on. Okay. No, I thought the I thought it was the a little traumatized <laughs> the next day. I mean, look, you gotta you know you gotta crack a few eggs, right? Thought the performances were good. Loved the sets that they got. Really cool that they got a gas station. That was cool. There was good humor yeah, to I it. Yeah, I like that. Something about gifting three bits to change an outffit is <laughs> I, I love, a three cent, <laughs> cent outfit change. It's just funny. I love the real takes on, on streamer and chat relationship. Yes. Yeah. I love that kind of stuff. One could argue this might be a more abstract take on what streaming does to the psyche, that mm. over time he valued content over even what was sensible. Or yeah. mm. Which it do be like that sometimes. Uh, I think it reminded me a lot of Citizen Kane. You know, yeah. a lot of notes Ooh. of Citizen Kane. Oh, Lil Rosebud. Mm. Ooh. All right. Yeah, I mean, IRL shit is really heightened, too, because you don't have the safety of your own room. Anything yep. could happen at any time. Mm-hmm. Like... Anyone else have anything to say? No, is it my turn? Nope, it is my turn okay. because there's an ad. Yeah, bitch. Where's your pen, bitch? I don't know. <laughs> you guys borrowed my pen talking shit. Put your hands up, bitch. Is this the longest <laughs> burner has ever cosplayed this s <laughs> Close to it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, episode one of Pixel Pitch airs Ooh. March the 29th at 2 p.m. Central Time. Classic. On Asmongold's channel, also known as Zach Rar. It's a show where game developers pitch their games to a panel of industry professionals. And we are still accepting submissions right now. If you'd like to participate, head over to otk.to slash pixel. Pitch, period. Let's watch it. Oh. <laughs> uh, that, that wasn't the title? No. <laughs> Next award is the What the Fuck Was That Award. This mm -hmm. award goes to the submission that had us questioning our very existence after we watched it, a film that we debated even including in tonight's show because it made our screeners feel so uncomfortable that most of them were unable to finish it. A film that can only be described by three words. What the fuck? Get the chest person! I did not do it. Bro, he put me up to this. You are mortal. Into the blade? Yes, into the blade. Somehow I ended up in this situation. But let's start at the beginning. I was at my cave preparing for my next heist. I mean adventure, the usual stuff. But first, I wanted to visit a good old friend. Silence, <clears throat> Gentlemen! For centuries, our people have fought for these lands. And now, today, we are encroached upon once more to defend our divine right. A rainy day keeps the shower away. Ben! Put him up on him! The bald wizard? What is he doing here? <gasps> oh no, what is happening? <gasps> Peace. Mr. Bald, why did you kidnap me? His Highness really acts weird since she left. No! Do not worry, my Highness. We all await her return. She shall return soon. 
You seem nervous, Mr. Bald. You can come to me if you are feeling cold. I cannot. I have a mission, and for that, I need your help. A mission? It was there, 3,000 years ago. It was there, when the strength of men failed. I did everything in my power. To no avail, we must stop them. Do it or you die, bitch! My princess, please close your eyes. Where are you hiding? If you think I died, you are right. Anyway, look at this. A legendary quest? You need to collect two things to unlock the tower where everything began. It's like the Hallig tree, you know? Anyway, you need a big damn sword and the recipe of the literal god. After that, you need to place the items under a statue and the way will open. Just look at your quest log if you feel lost. I collected everything. Let's check my quest log. This must be the statue, the sword, and the food of the gods. Whoa, huge power. Halt! Look at your savior, my princess. I have come to bring you home. Look at this. I will not go back with you. Good, very good. It is over. Come home. Yo, can you hear me? Mr. Bald? Well, somehow I ended up in this blade. I don't have time to explain. Just grab me and get the fuck out. Now! This time I am not alone. Sup, King. Let's see it done. Uh. How is... Could we maybe just take a quick look at this big damn sword? No, we are still on a quest. You said always look at the quest log. Now come. The tower awaits. Can we not just take one look at the sword? I think I need it. That's enough, stupid bald sword. We were going to be watching yeah. all night. So. That, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Again, was, ladies dude, and gentlemen, that was, that that was, was fantastic. how a bald wizard so saved the world by self QT. Please vote now. That was absurd. That was everything in that in this. What in the skibbity, bro? That was, <laughs> that was absurd. That was insane. Yeah. I've never watched anything like that. So, I, go ahead. I thought you were done. I don't know. I have the. And on top of that, I was uh, I, I was I was like thrown off by the uh, the lip syncing. Like they, they yeah. animated the, the mouth, the moving mouth, and then yeah. the I think the AI generated the voice. That, that was, was super insane. impressive. Like it completely caught me off guard. The acting job from the body pillow. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the yes. Well, Angle. Uh, that was good. <laughs> you know they say. Sex is dead in Hollywood, but that body pillow. Mm. Well, that's sex reborn. It has yeah, a future. That's take on sex. Yep. Sydney Sweeney and that body pillow are single-handedly <laughs> killing wokeness in Hollywood. I would watch that as a miniseries. Yeah. I would. It, it, really, it's a story of the folly of greed, man. I, I would liken, I, I'd liken it to uh, Citizen Kane. Yeah. If there was a film I'd call. It seems like a lot of, we were liking a lot of films to Citizen Kane. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We should try call to find like at I least see it, one other famous old. Oppenheimer. Uh, good it's like Oppenheimer. <laughs> yes. It was. African <laughs> Queen. It reminds yes. me of African Queen. I'm gonna Chad say, gave that film a 10, by the way. Oh, and I did yeah, too. Chad's not I'm going to say it, man. That kind of stupid shit is what uh, I'm here for. I believe I that. I loved it. I believe that really played a nice, beautiful, sweet spot for all viewers across the board especially those on the internet. It was nice, it was modern. Mm. And the plot reminded me of Coming to America. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Kind of Coming to America meets I, I got Kane. Coming to America from that. 
<laughs> it's yeah. sort of unfair that they have all these other people who make these really good movies and yet that one's exceptional, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is extremely way. unfair. Yes. <laughs> but I'm, that's where I am. I loved it. That was perfect. The body pillow, the Asmin and the sword. Mm. Oh, let me look at it. Like, that was great. Love um, it. S-Fan, phenomenal. Pete, hey, you know Thank the you. body pillow? I mean, you have Rembrandt oh, and you have Picasso. Some paintings take, you know, yeah. a long time to make, and they're visually accurate, and sometimes they look like little kid drawings, but they're still awesome. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, some take yeah. a long time to see. It yes. seems that you should have a category, which is best film for mystery science theater. Mm, true. And that one, that one could easily win that. Yeah. Mystery true. science? Yes. What's that? Uh, what? It's, it's a show so, not unlike what we're doing, where they critique films. They watch, yeah. yeah. So basically, uh, well... Skibbity Riz, Phantom Tax. Yeah. Mm. So you're too, you're too old for that, buddy. What, what the heck and hit the green? Don't, I mean, don't even say those words. What does he say? Exactly. Okay. Anyways. Pick. Ready? Yes. Cool. Let's do it. Mm-mm-mm. Okay. We don't fuck up. I'm doing it. We're yeah. up. doing it and don't doing it and doing, doing it well. It but it's happening. It's done. It is being done. He's raised out a bush with you. Gosh, I'm doing it. Doing it well. <clears throat> All right, let's Boo! do it. Boo! Boo! Well, <laughs> Go back to Norway! I will leave and I will never come back. I'm going to keep it that way. Okay, so this next one is Best Thriller, okay? Mm. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? <laughs> what? I laugh at everything you said. What's so funny, the MK? Dude, MK. Okay. <laughs> okay, sorry, huh? Best stuff. Um, this film is about a deranged individual who hunts the most dangerous game of all, streamers. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that's not, that's not the, this is scary. Um, however, <laughs> he disappears one day while on the search for his latest prey, Seer. <laughs> mm. It's called Stream Sniper by Mare Wirtz. Oh my god. Oh, Mayor oh, Words. Oh, you know Mayor oh, Words. These are, wait, so there's. Yeah, from Elevator. Yeah, too. Watching Cleveland News Channel 7. Welcome back to another episode of Stream Sniper. As always, I'm Derek Fondue. Look familiar? Derek Fondue, a former famous reality star known for his hit show Stream Sniper, has made his first appearance since falling off the map following the show's cancellation. Tonight, News Channel 7 investigates the fall of Derek Fondue. Our very own Darren Grant is on the scene. Grant... Thank you, Paul. We're standing here at the location of the final episode of Stream Sniper. Stream Sniper was a show dedicated to taking down streamers. Each episode featured a streamer that Derek would try to catch before they went live. The show was canceled after he couldn't bag his biggest streamer, Seer. He went dark after that. We hadn't heard anything of Derek until the incident this past month at Olive Garden. Here's the 911 call. 911, what's your emergency? Uh, hi, I'm calling from Olive Garden, and um, Derek Fondue is here, and he's, he's throwing pasta everywhere, demanding that he's here. Olive Garden declined our request for the footage, so our team has put together a recreation of the events. Is there anything else I can get for you from the Olive Garden? Hi, I'm Derek. This is how I talk. Where? is Seer. Look, all I do is bring a da pasta. Gaba ghoul. Where is Seer? 
I don't know who that is. Unknown to Mr. Fondue, Zier had been missing for about a week before Derek's arrest at Olive Garden. We sent one of our reporters to his house to get a statement. Listen, I already gave money to Jehovah's Hi Witnesses. Derek. I'm with News Channel 7. I was wondering if you'd uh, like to comment on your recent arrest and the news of Sears' disappearance, maybe? Uh, is this some kind of, like, sick joke? What are you talking about? Yeah, I'm serious. Uh, it says he was last seen uh, in a cornfield. Do you know anything about that? Get, get off my property right now. No, you're Another gone. Question. Get out of here. One more question, get, Derek. get out of here. Another question. Get Just trying to get my royalty checks. What will become of Derek? Will he try to reboot his show? Maybe he'll manage us to borrow his pizza. Only time will tell for the stream sniper. I'm Darren Grant. Thank you for watching. You know, it's a shame they canceled my show, but what are you going to do? I'll see you tomorrow, my quirky little guy. That was awesome to see a familiar face from OTK Elevated, right guys? Oh my God, it was so good. And the on-site location of Olive Garden, are you shitting me? How do you feel about that, Chance? Here. Oh, oh, Wake, it really, it, it was a good film. There's no reason to say that, Wake. I, I'm just so surprised how the last shot with the reveal of Seer being tied up, you know, I would like to see some more of that. Am I right, Nick? I personally feel like I'm gonna give this one a 9.5. How about you fellas over here? It, it just went crazy. It, there were so many twists and turns. And, oh. Oh, yes, and Seer was in it. We love to see Seer in a film. We love to see it. That was great. Any, anybody else want to say anything? Any, anybody else? Oh my God, Andy. Oh, oh my, oh Jesus. I, I personally wouldn't have said that, but thank you for your input. All right, ready for the next one. I hope we can all recover from that after what Chance said. Uh, not let it get us down too much, all right? We got a lot of good films ahead of us. And the next up is Best Product Placement. We know films have to get funded somehow. Some cheeky positioning of a good product, that'll get the job done. So this film, ladies and gentlemen, is about a lone courier who must transport a valuable package through an apocalyptic future. Just another day, but this package contains a valuable item that some kill to get their hands on. Courier by Ben David Sharp. What do we have left? A sick and wounded world that tastes of ash. Each painful rotation slowly tearing it apart the seams. Cargo delivery 4029. Destination, Nexus City, outskirts, 5,000 miles. 
enjoy the ride. Does the flea care about the dog it bites? Or does it just keep drinking, draining, desiccating? Until the veins run dry, leaving only empty wastes and memories of blood. I think we have our answer. Some people spend their whole lives searching for meaning, for some higher purpose, and who knows? Maybe on their deathbeds they reach up and finally grab a hold of that which they've been chasing for so long. Or maybe the last thought that passes through their minds is this. Was it all worth it? Warning. Vehicle approaching. Warning. Vehicle approaching. Transport register 163K. You are approaching restricted airspace. Turn back now or ground your vehicle. Understood. Setting her down now. Guess I'm on foot from here, chat. I don't strive for greater meaning. I know my purpose. A purpose I share with every blade of grass, cancer cell, and star in the sky. Consume and grow strong. That mantra is etched into every atom of this world. Consume and grow strong. Don't fucking do this! <laughs> and when we're starving in the cold and our legs won't carry us, that cold deeper than thought pushes us forward. Consume and grow strong. Live by it. Die by it. What do you have for me? Package. From Uchi. Pay him. Tastes like ash, oil, and soot. The occasional luxury is priceless. Cargo delivery 4030. Yeah, me too. Jesus. about editing? So they could like, so I could judge the difficulty more. Oh so you'd man. say how hard it no, was to do. Listen, 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 Ben Sharp, talking directly to you. I already told Finn, we're gonna try and offer you a job, brother. That was fucking absurd. That was, and I, not just an ad for my sauce that I'm gonna shamelessly repurpose on my tw <laughs> Twitter, but that was unreal. 
the amount of visual work that went into that, even like <laughs> the rain on the glass of the car that doesn't exist, like, man, you went in, dude. You flexed on them. Yeah. I, I, at first, when I first saw that opening shot, I was like, oh, this is a scene from 2049. And then uh, I realized, like, I saw you walking in it. And then I saw you in the car in the flying uh, hovercraft. And I was like, oh, my God. And I'm a massive Blade Runner fan. So that was just, I, I couldn't, so, I couldn't, I was constantly I thought, in this I was like, wait, but Will wasn't in 2049. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> uh, they cut me. It's in the, uh, it's in the director's okay. cut. Uh-huh. Um, honestly, the amount of assets and the amount of time you put into this in, like, the three months you had is fucking mind-boggling. Uh, this is very, very impressive. Mm. Uh, even just the Emmy Rue hologram. Yeah. If we don't repurpose that, <laughs> we're idiots. Mm-hmm. Like that's a what a what a beautiful tip of the hat to uh, Blade Runner. I, also, the chat saying things like we live in a, <laughs> in a sci-fi yeah. future. Uh, Fuck you. Listen, Fuck you was good. You got my highest score of the evening thus far. Yeah, I'll admit it. That's that phenomenal. Outrageous. It, uh, just like visually, eighty-seven percent of chat rated that a ten. Wow, that's great. Yeah, that was out of anyone. You felt like that world was real. Yeah, more than anything. Yeah, like you didn't feel like, oh, I see where the green screen is. You really felt like he was. It was consistent in across the board. Yeah, so good. And someone is gonna re-edit that in moments and make it a Cerveza Crystal video. I know it for sure. <laughs> but thank you for making it Will Neff's hot sauce, best hot sauce in the world. I didn't even know we were going to get an ad. Because <laughs> we're always sold out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's kind of one of those things that you can't put a, a dollar value on. Yes. You know, it's a memento. It carries, it's kind of like, like Rosebud and Citizen Kane. Yes. And they, finally, when you get the, it's it, someone with all the money in the world, a business tycoon, even in a, in a dystopian future, yep. you know, there's something that matters that. more than money. Yep. You're saying that was like Citizen Kane? Well, uh, <laughs> I was, part of it. See, I was thinking more like Married with Children. Mm. We're coming yeah. to America. Another yeah. Yeah. There you go. Love and marriage. Love and marriage. <laughs> love and marriage. <laughs> One thing I want to say before we go into our next film, Ben Sharp, I think that's your name if I'm remembering correctly. I don't even think you had a bottle of Will Neff's hot sauce. It looked like you took another bottle, printed a label, and put it over the hot sauce. So if you are here, if you are watching, message Haas on Twitch right now, and I'm going to send you a bottle of hot if sauce. If you're broke, boys, just say so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but thank you. better he didn't print it out. That was actually done in After Effects. <laughs> Was, it, was, there wasn't even a bottle there. <laughs> there was no bottle there. Yeah, yeah, that was all. That was all. Uh, that was all an asset. Andy, I think you're up next. Okay. Not getting it. Take God, it that away. was incredible. Let's go, baby. That blew me away. Away. I really have to piece. Am I in the next one or not? No, you may pee. I, yeah, but I don't want to miss this. You may, you may pee it? while he's doing the. It's quick. Just go pee. Bam. Andy, stall for me. Bam. Stall for me, Andy. Andy, you gotta stall. Stall. Okay. Stall. I, I, I too. I too shall. Peace. Peace. Stall. Okay. We'll just share. Stall. We'll just share a toilet. Do the lo- longest intro possible. Okay. It's over here. Okay. You poop while I pee. This. Film <laughs> is yeah. a parody of the well known horror film The Ring. Ah. I won't spoil too much. <laughs> I won't spoil. Too much. But let's just say the main character, wait for it, gets what's coming to him. Mm. Before I tell you the name of this movie, let's talk about parody a little bit. Okay. Okay? Talk amongst yourselves about it. Okay? Oh. I, 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 good, I love it. Now, my friends oh, here, sorry. I haven't seen in a long time. We moved here during a pandemic, and we watched a lot of parodies together. There's Naked Gun. There's Airplane. 
There's an airplane two. Naked Gun two. Yeah. Naked Gun two. And the reason why Leslie Nielsen was the best character, because he came from straight acting. So mm. instead of hiring a comedian to ham it up, they had a straight actor delivering silly lines in a straight way. And that's why the comedic buzz just hit so hard because it didn't seem so hammy. It seemed like a really good straight actor saying ridiculous things. And now I present to you The Hot Tub by Postman. Excellent stuff. Is anyone else like this? Like, the past, like, two...
Okay. Dang. You just keep getting so good. Yeah. Uh, Chat, uh, remember to vote. Um, that was The Hot Tub by The Postman. Uh, Postman, I don't know if you are an internet historian fan, but your use of stationary images and giving them kind of a little relative movement to create the illusion of film is brilliant. Mm -hmm. uh, you basically took a still from um, the green screen video and you used it for almost all my footage and that is brilliant. And I saw you, that one uh, piece of footage of S Van walking wasn't actually a piece of footage that he animated all that. It was so creepy. I mean, again, what a technical achievement this is. The ending payoff was good as well. It's yeah. kind of hard to pull off a video like that with a serious ending. Yep. You know, unless you have a really, really good something. But the fact that it ended with a little bit of humor really summed it all up. Good audio it was design, pizza. really well done. This should be around another 87% from chat. Uh, this was, this uh, was great. Very well done. Very well done. I hate S Fan too. I would just like yeah, to. Yeah, 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 yeah. He. <laughs> S Fan, uh, you missed the whole film, S Fan. Sorry, you... I was in the bathroom. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, and Peach, anything, Dad? Yeah. Okay. I, I was yes, Citizen Kane. That's what I was. Ah, gonna... uh, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Yeah. I knew that one film was going to remind us of that. Anyone mm -hmm. else? Mm -hmm. Have anything to say? I mean, yeah. They, the, technically, that was brilliant. You I love the fuck out of that. Yeah. That was awesome. I loved that it was horror. I loved that S Fan had the nice, long, perfect dark hair to be, you know, terrifying. <laughs> and I thought it was hilarious at the same time. Yeah. I love that, and that's what I'm here for. Solid 9.3 from me. The only thing that would have made it better if S Fan actually came in and killed all of us at the end of the film. I agree. That's why that it's 9.3. Really I was hoping he was going to do that. Yeah, yeah, but he missed, the whole, he missed the whole thing. He wasn't even in the theater. Yeah. <laughs> I did want him to eat the pizza. I, I yes. wanted to. I'm hungry, so I wanted no, to see him eat that pizza. pizza. Don't worry. Um, one thing I want to say, Postman, I don't know if this was intentional, but you used a very specific song for the ringtone, which was the song we used in G4 every time we announced Basketbot. I don't know if you're a G4 fan. If you are, beautifully done homage. It ain't do that deep, what if bro. Not? It might be. That had to have been intentional, right? It might be. I have one last right. note. Either it was Kismet or it was a very beautiful uh, shout out to my now dead network. <laughs> um, I, I do have one last note on this. Yeah. Um, we have a saying in film, it's called, a, you know, they say show, don't tell. And if you are going to tell us that S Fan did a hot tub stream, I would like for you to show us the footage. Mm. Um, if you have it, you can send it to me on Discord. Just wait, yes. Wilder. Mm. Um, anything like that, that would be good. Yeah, because perfect. I just, yeah. Citizen Kane. Uh, Dan. My turn. You're up. Oh. <clears throat> God, that was another absolute. I'm afraid they're going to keep getting really, really good. If they get much better, I don't know what we're going to do. Because all is my numbers. So, so this one. Fuck. We've had a lot of horror. We have a lot of horror. horror. But who doesn't love a good romance? Right? I love who, romance. Who yeah. doesn't love a good romance? Feeling good about the world. Puts you in. So this is what film would be complete without romantic intrigue. What happens when that intrigue turns into something else? Mm. Something twisted. Ooh. The romance, but a little something more. This is a twisted bromance oh. by Gaddaf Gnome. We have a bromance. God of Gnome? Wait, God of Gnome? God of Gnome. This is God of Gnome times two. Two God of Gnomes? God of Gnome two. This summer, Two friends become more than just friends. I noticed you were looking at me from across the room. I was wondering if maybe you, uh, 
wanted to uh, get a drink. Damn, I just want to let you know, truck fuck. Will, I find out I'm bisexual because of you. But then, everything changed. Man, I'm so glad we're not sponsored because the use of Aha's <laughs> take on dude, me. Dude, the song made it. Was the incredible. Song, dude, the song brought it home, dude. No, that was really that, good. That, that take on me was so good. Yeah. Holy. That was very enjoyable. Are we? Uh, what? I think we're back. I think I'm gonna increase it. I'm a bit. I like the. I like the repurposed usage of film of uh, the film that we did. Mm -hmm. That was cool. A little uh, cinematic re-edit. Yes. Yeah. That ben was, was over there looking livid that his film had been absolutely cut up. Expanded upon, purpose. by the way. Expanded upon. Yeah, expanded upon. It was made much better. That was <laughs> very good. The text messages with Tacky. I'm a cop. Honestly, it like the, the whole time, I was just interested to see what was gonna happen next. Like it I, was actually, like, it was like legit. Good. Like, yeah. I loved it. I thought it was great. That was enjoyable. Uh, got a gnome. Yeah. I avid poster on my on my Reddit. A, and a double a submission. A double submission. Two films in the top twenty. What a what a success. I know. I that know. use of take on me though. I don't know if he re-edited so the good. song, but it was incredible in the second. Yeah, it half. sounded like slow and creepy like towards the end when it was. Does that exist or did he did he edit that? I don't know, but it's so pe it like perfect. peel uh, like in Get Out using I got five on yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom, 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 yeah, boom. loved it. What is what is that um Orson Welles movie? Oh, oh, never back down. No, Bro, I love that. Never back down was good, dude. It's not it. Oh, dude, it was Citizen hot. Kane. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yes. 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 Mm, definitely a Citizen Kane. That was great. Um, got to know him. Great job. Proud of. Proud of you. Um, Chat. Remember to vote. I'm supposed to say that every time. I didn't think I did. Yeah. Um, 
Mike, anything? Oh, no, I mean, I, I just, I want to applaud, I didn't know SVN, SVN has an eye for cinema. And, yes. Um, when you see those notes of Orson Welles and, and the narrative of a media tycoon spoilt, mm. um, you can't help but point it out. I mean, a man who has everything, who only wants one thing, the one thing he can't have. It's tragic, and um, mm. but it hugged at me too. It mm. did. Rosebud. It did. Yeah, I don't understand that. <laughs> um, one thing, I don't know why. It doesn't even matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind. I designed a ride. Time, time. <laughs> oh, one time. thing. Anyone else? All right. Thank you. Another. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were doing Lion King. I thought you were doing Scott. Yeah, I thought he was going <laughs> to... I don't know why. I thought it was Scott. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for another advertisement. Because we've got to keep the lights on. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> As you all know, OTK launched Mad Mushroom at last year's Video Game Expo. I'm excited to say that Mad Mushroom and Light Fox's latest game, Rumble Club, Woo! is available to playtest from now until March 28th. So, if you want to know what that looks like, we have a trailer. Kinship, brotherhood. Throughout time and antiquity, the building blocks of society have been based on democracy debate and compromise through peaceful deliberation, but sometimes there is no more powerful way to make a point than a punch to the face! <laughs> In Rubble Club, there's no problem! A punch and song! <laughs> now you know what we're Let's doing do it. just land on tech tone and get him out whatever that was no! time no. to die Amy. no no oh, oh. Oh. i'm alive oh, I'm 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 help help I'm getting ping pong tech tone please <laughs> oh Three in go baby Beat it, it was just, we won like five out of seven games. Clap! Yeah! Yeah! I'm going to give that one a 10. It wins the festival. Yes. Yeah, 10.5. 10.5. Uh, that game looks special. like Oppenheimer. That's true. <laughs> I will actually be playing that game on stream later this month. Part of the Ooh. Also, ladies and gentlemen, we have a golden uh, Kappa hype train. Uh, just wanted to put oh. that out. Also, what? Like, no way! If you want a golden Kappa. All right, next up. Our next film is the creepiest film. Mm. Have you ever seen a film that just makes you go, ew? Please enjoy Stan by Eduardo DNF. Hey, Slim, I wrote you. You ain't wrote back. Him. 
ever. So, uh, the first thing I thought of was uh, of Nick. Yeah. Me? Yeah. Why? There's just a lot of similarity, uh, yeah. me knowing you. Yeah. And like us. I know. Is no, I got, I got that too. Does anybody, does anybody else weird? get Nick from that? Yeah, Which definitely. I, I, yeah. Less, less everyone, Nick. everyone but Nick. Okay. Nick vibes, except for this guy in the movie, I felt bad for him. Mm. <laughs> or Nick, I'm just kind of creeped out. I don't feel yeah. bad for him at all. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'll change my ways. I apologize. <laughs> I liked that this submitter knew that Schlatt is no longer an OTK and said, fuck it. Yeah. We, I, I like care. Schlatt. I'm doing Schlatt. Yeah, I like Schlatt. We're doing Schlatt. No. So, I mean, I like Schlatt, too. So when I bought the hair, it was like 50% Oh, off. You, you have the hair. Yeah, so. Oh, okay. Um, you have like a discount code, like hashtag, like friends with Schlatt. Yeah, yes. exactly. Yes. Exactly. So. <laughs> he was packaging them with his plushies at one point. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, no, that was great. That was great. I loved it was how a, creepy it was. As ominous, you know, you could see when he was on the, on the toilet and he took off, he put down the phone. You're like, oh, this never ends well. Like, yes. Some bad's gonna happen. Mm. And something good happened. That <laughs> sniff was gr incredible. Yeah. Um, I've been there. It's a long sniff. A lot. You want to replicate the sniff? Well, yeah, great acting. In that, in that. I'm good. I'm good on the chat. Point. Did that resonate with anyone of you? Do you ever feel like a stan? Who, who, what streamer would you stand if you had to? Mm. 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 Hassan. Um. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> 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 Will Nev. Okay. Mm. A lot of good answers there. NMP. Russell. Mm. See, I think a lot of people don't know Stan is like a bad thing. Have you ever seen that? People are like, I Stan, whatever. If it, it, they're like, watch the video of Eminem Stan. You're not, yeah, you don't yeah. want to be Stan. Yeah. yeah. Like, but they don't know he what was drunk and he has wife in the car and drove over a bridge. There's definitely two meanings. There's like the Eminem Stan and then there's like, I'm just a fan like of that. Like, oh my well, God, I no, Stan that there, new no, Greek yogurt. No, there's actually three. Well, because there's, there's also Stan himself. Uh, yeah, that's true. Fuck yeah. Stan. Man. Yeah. Hey, he's not a bad guy. Oh, uh, you're right, you're right. He yeah. reminds me of ET. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Peach, would you present our next film and stall because... Sorry. Kill my mic while I'm peeing. <laughs> hey, Slim, I wrote you, but you ain't wrote back. My younger <laughs> brother is a bigger fan than me. He's pissed, too. <laughs> I killed my girlfriend the other day. <laughs> I, I bleached my hair, too. bad at all. I thought you loved me, Slim. Oh, doing this? Oh. And anyway, Slim, 
Yeah. Big fan of your cor cornwood role play. How long are you going to do it? <laughs> you ever going to role play with Eugene? Um, hey, and, um, Andy, yeah. tell me one thing that you don't like about s -Fand. Only one. No, 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 it's too, it's too hard. The least favorite. Yeah. No, it's too easy. Yeah. He's a cop in GTA, and I don't fucking <laughs> like the cops. True dog. Because they put dog. me in jail, and then <laughs> what am I going to do for a half an hour on stream? <laughs> True. True. Well, actually, no, you'll just go and farm lockpicks, make more was, money, and then like, get out of jail. I was going to draw a muscle <laughs> over True. <laughs> um, you can do that. Nick, do you have anything to say about roleplay, GTA? Nope. I, I think No Pixel's great. I have a lot of fun. I can't wait to keep playing. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. True. Um, I'm excited for the new changes. The new changes? I'm actually going to become a cop. Nice. As soon as you get sheriff's office, which you're getting Today. next week. I'll be, I'll be a cop, too. Yeah. I, I don't, Spoilers. I didn't, I, didn't get, I didn't get the script. Yeah. You should try a Red Dead role. Yeah, uh, serious. We're going to get uh, Ichiya really? Simone's. <laughs> it's so serious, but it's so good. Hey, check this shit out. You ready? Dude, Dude you stop it, honey. Stop it, honey. <laughs> stop it, honey. <laughs> Dude, I'm supposed to oh, not laugh. S fan. You know who's actually gonna play cop? Who? Malena. Oh my really? God. She's gonna go through the yeah no on her own. Shot. Yes, she is without me. Really? Yeah. Dude. Remember the Rust RP days? Those are the best. That's how that's how Cornwall got started. Cornwall came from Rust RP. What? That's what. That's how I started Cornwall. Oh, was Rust RP. Really? That was where the character came from. <laughs> how do you think? Nick, I'm, server, I'm curious. Uh -huh. Nick, what? How do you the think it would go? Russ, Russ if always has you legitimately tons of had Malena do a there's this disconnect cop stream. Uh -huh. that are noobs. Uh -huh. You're not even there. Oh, she'd be banned. Shh. Shh. Hello? Oh. Yes. Oh, my God. My mic is on. Hi, guys. Oh, my God. Okay, wow. It's finally working. Okay, so the best science fiction film... <laughs> She's such a great presenter. Um, yeah. I've actually been waiting for this. Wrong video by Sewer... Suey rep. Oh. Now let's see if we can't figure out what you are, my little friend. And where you come from. I saw part of the message you I seem to have found it. I just want to let you know. <laughs> Bro. No okay. <laughs> that was amazing. Wow. Uh, the, the, the victorious crescendo at the end yeah. and the, the resolving. That was, that was. Someone followed my pussy in bio link. That was good. And, and sourced some footage from my other site. That was an incredible use of me on green screen. That was, like was fucking tech. Yeah. That was incredible. <laughs> Wait, it reminds me of that sex scene in Oppenheimer a little bit. Yeah. Dude, I saw it one a lot. I am become, uh, world, I become Death, Destroyer of Worlds. Yeah. And Why, he's like, wide and, and he's like, oh. <laughs> that, I don't know if that was a parody. I know there was Star Wars in it, but the plot and the theme reminded me more of, like, Cars 2. <laughs> True. I got Cars, yeah. Yeah, okay. that was the best sci-fi film, actually. Yeah. Best sci-fi. Best sci-fi. Was best sci-fi. The New York Times said, "We'll make you swear like Cytheria. <laughs> like that, like that, like that. Um, I like that they. I like that uh, Obi Wan and Luke just kind of watched it, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would like to see more facial expressions for him. I don't think they did <laughs> Obi Wan mm. and Luke. I don't know. They, Alec again, he just kind of didn't do it for me in that one. Yeah. They did a great job of creating an unspoken dialogue between the creators. We could feel the tension in the room. Something was happening that shouldn't, but no one knew how to stop it. Mm. Kind of 
when you look at Orson Welles' Citizen Kane, it's like the rise to power and the excess that came of it. Someone in the room should have stood up and said something and no one did. Citizen Kane, that's what I was thought. thinking. Can you explain yeah. what he just said? Oh, I mean, it was, you had to be there. It was the Academy Awards, 1942. You know, I'm, I'm gonna say this right now. Alec Guinness sucks as an actor. Yeah, really. Yeah. Somebody get that Guinness. guy off screen. Mm -hmm. Where, what's he doing? Okay. I, I just hope he doesn't make any more films. I hope not. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's here. Oh, yeah, I'll read one. You're up. All right. Man, R2-D2 plays the wrong video. Yeah, huge. All right, um, card? Was it the wrong film? It's up there. It's up there. You know? Oh, okay. I didn't know R2-D2 was chill like that. See, you know what's something funny? You know I met Cytheria? Mm. What? In a, in a first class uh, flight from Amsterdam to, uh, back to what is America. What is Cytheria? Oh, uh, the white girl. <laughs> That's Siberia is a place. It, no, she, yeah, it, sounds like, it sounds like a place. Oh, oh Cytheria, Russia is what you're talking hey, about. Hey, as you oh, just yeah. said, you had to be there. <laughs> you know, it makes you wonder, was that the right film? Did R2-D2 play the right one? Yeah, it did. What, what film were they What does it say about our future and our relationship to tech? You know what? It actually wasn't Cytheria. It was somewhat... Thanks for ruining my day, Nick. Sorry. Best Suspense. This film is about a young man who takes his date back to his place for some dessert. If you know what I mean. Mm. Trust me, you don't. This is Twitchy by Aiden Latka. Hey girl. hey girl. I'm so tired of being ghosted. If one more guy ghosts me, I'm gonna go crazy. And I'm so sick of these dating apps. How'd you get so lucky with Will? You guys are so cute. I just want something like that. I want something real, you know? To get past this stupid screen and make a connection with someone. Ooh, this guy's pretty cute. Yes! Hi, are you Noah? How'd you know that? Oh, uh, we matched. Kara! Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry, I didn't recognize you. I... What are you doing outside? The restaurant you picked is, well... Closed. Oh. My friend told me this was a good date spot. I'm sorry. Well, do you know anything else that you like to eat? Or... Well, uh. I, uh. <laughs> well, I, I, I hope these are to your liking. I can't remember the last time I've had one of these. Well, trust me, the more you have them, the better they get. Hmm. So did you want to eat these here, or...? Oh, yeah, right, right. I mean, I do live nearby. I mean... Okay, yeah, anything to get out of this cold. Okay, yeah, yeah, cool, all right. And this is my room. This is where I uh, sleep, and yeah, it's not too bad. Oh, why do you have so many screens in here? <laughs> um, I uh, <clears throat> I moderate for a bunch of streamers, and I I run their Discord as well, so I need to I need to see a lot. That's so cool. I mean, it looks like you run a space station in here. What's this? Oh, um. Please be careful. Uh, he's uh, my favorite streamer. Oh, sorry. Um, I've never met a streamer before, but he seems interesting. Well, I'm uh, I'm gonna be one of them someday. Oh. Well, tell me then, Mr. Streamer. Have you ever brought a girl back to this mysterious office of yours? <clears throat> no one quite like you. Oh. Well. What do you want with me? Oh, uh, I, I, I'm not sure. Well, I know what I want with you. Oh, uh, what's, uh, what's that? Kiss me.
Fury Road, this movie, and then like done. It is one of those films that I. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's not what I expected. It is a three hour. You were trying to get rid of the chef. What you want me to do? I Great. love that. All right. Uh, unfortunately, our camera blocked the at of the young actress. So I am going to make sure we get it and we're going to read it out later in the broadcast because I don't want that was in the credits. And she I, don't was want great. I don't want any of the credits to be blocked. Um, that, I like how he had the warp cam on him the, the entire warp time to add a little bit of surreality. Yes. And she had the normal cam. The fisheye went nuts. Yep. I would be really surprised if they were here watching this live because I know that the clip of me playing Backpack Battles, that was recent, which means they were putting this together like crazy overnight working long hours. Mm. They're probably asleep. Just oh. <laughs> okay, nerd. Or the Relax. procrastinating I losers them. who waited to the last second to turn their project in. Sure. By the way, how many of you are sponsored by G? None of us. No. Good. Okay. Andy, you're sponsored by what? G Fuel. Oh. Wait, Andy used to be. Are you, are you... No, no, not anymore. Okay, good. Uh, you know that that'd be that'd be unfortunate if we showed something with G Fuel killing someone and one of you guys were sponsored. Might not be great for them. No. <laughs> what was with the or corn dogs stuff? I didn't get that part. Uh, he likes corn dogs. Yeah. Well, it's it's all his fantasy, right? He's he's dying. This is as the DMT is hitting his brain. Yeah, yeah. so he's just thinking about that sucking corn dogs. Moment. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes you got to quit. Listen, you said never eat at an American 7-Eleven. I am actually very partial to rolling Yeah. Dogs. I think drunk, okay. Sober, no. I got to go with Andy on this one. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Well, I mean, That's why I like you. Yeah. Sometimes you got to suck the down a good reason. roller dog. There's a uh, lot of reasons. Okay. I'm all about rolling dogs. That's the main one. Roller dog's the main Yeah. It's the main one. Um... I loved all the little references to all the streamers, all the, the content on the screens. Also, you had a picture of me from during the, the lockdown where I had a Biden-Harris belly shirt on. Mm -hmm. That was excellent. Which nobody had ever seen before, so we don't know how he got that photo yeah. for the video. Yes, yeah. that so. was actually a private photo. <laughs> so. uh, I love that, though. I, I thought there was a lot of really good choices. I thought the acting was really, really well Acting done. was great. It was great. great. Also... It's hard to film good sexual tension. I know. I, you wanted it's it to not that hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's every stream of mine. Well, that. Ooh. <laughs> you name it. <laughs> Thank you, Nick Pollum. Thank you, Pogo Pollum. Speaking of Pogo Pollum. Here you go. All right. Let's do it. Yo, tear it up. Break a leg. I'm excited. Tear okay. it up. Tear it up. Tear it up. Tear it up. Fire it up. Air it up. Air it up. <laughs> Dude, you look so, you look so good. Yeah. Where's some oh, funny? Queen. So Chance lost his pin about an hour ago and he's been using mine ever since. I don't even get to hold it anymore, so. Either way. Thanks, Chance. He's just scribbling. He's oh, not even paying attention. His okay. voting sheet looks like something out of Patrick Bateman's diary. <laughs> Speaking of that, best slasher. Because okay. he was Nope, never mind. That was Citizen Kane. Sorry. Um, slasher films are a staple of the horror genre. This is the third scary one I'm doing. Yep. What, is this on purpose? Yep. Okay. <laughs> From Scream to Halloween, these stories present an ever-present threat that sends chills down our spine. This is called Stream by Will... God, I'm going to... Pissicata... Piss how do you say this, Finn? 
Pishocha. Pishocha. Pish Just disrespectful. Just disrespectful. It says Neff. It says Will Neff. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Who is this? Who is this? Well, who are you looking for? What number is this? You called me. I didn't mean to. Okay, well, let's not do it again. Wait. Oui. Come on, you can't, you, you can't beat me. You cannot beat me. Hello? Why'd you hang up? Don't you want to talk? I don't even know who this is. Come on. I'm so lonely. Yeah, well, I'm sure there's a number for that. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, what's that? Who's your favorite Twitch streamer? Twitch? Who is this? I think your popcorn's burning. How did you know I was making popcorn? Because I'm at your front door. Listen, asshole. My friend's gonna be here any second, and he's gonna fuck you up. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Turn on the patio lights. What? Do it. Hello? Hello? and you unsubscribe? Did you think I wouldn't notice? <laughs> Surprise, Casey. Very, very, very good. good. That was really good. Oof. Man. I that was mean, sick. 
Really great references to Scream. You nailed the voice. What's your favorite scary? I'm going to gut you like a fucking fish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Miz would do that too, by the way. He would do that. Absolutely. Not unsub to him. He will find you. He's done it before. A 36 He'll give you flowers. VIP, are you kidding me? Um, yeah. So many surprises in that. That, yeah. that mask was a really cool creative choice. I thought I liked everything. Man. Wait, was that mask real or was that edited? It's like, uh, a, it's like an LED yeah, mask you can oh buy. Oh, my God. But the refresh rate was perfect, so Don't get it didn't any ideas. look crazy. Yeah, that was awesome. Um, chat, remember to vote. Guys, this is going to be hard to pick a top that, three. That was just a great That was a really fashion. good one. Like, that was a great classic slasher right there. That was. Yeah, like I was actually on the edge of my seat. Yep. That was great. Are you, are you now? Well, no, I'm not. Are you scooter back? People yeah, it was good bit. editing. That yeah. was well in. Like, I feel bad I butchered his Yeah, you name killed before. people, you bastard. Mm. Yeah, now people was a drug addict. Really? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know yep. that. Yeah, a lot of domestic violence, wow. the whole thing. Wow. Dead be dead. It's just you name it. God, child stars, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. yeah that's really, the thing. People used to be great. I, mean, I heard ago. he worked with Dan it's Schneider. People, it's people a nickname really? for gross yeah. That was the beginning of the end. <laughs> yeah, Stop, Andy. It was really the end for him. He was in the Nickelodeon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, does anybody else have anything they want to say? No, I mean, ultimately, it's haunting because, you know, you see a streamer, you know, who is later revealed to be Mizkif, who has, you know, tens of thousands of viewers. But sometimes it's that one precious 36-month VIP, kind of like, you know, how in Orson Welles' Citizen Kane, a, 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 a media oh, takeover, yeah. all, it was on the, tip of all the of resources time. in the world, you know, only misses that one toy from his childhood, you know? It's sentiment. Yeah. So Miz is kind of like Citizen Kane. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. I'm still waiting for the day that something like that really does happen. Why? Uh, okay. That was, that was <laughs> Well, uh, why, 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 why are you answer? waiting for that day? It's why probably going to be you, buddy. Why are you waiting for the <laughs> stream to kill It's like one bad stream. Yeah, one it was you, Rob, at that last TwitchCon, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, our last film of the evening. Oh, all right. Oh, my gosh. Really? Mm-hmm. Guys, this one's a big one. Coming back at you. Coming back at you. Coming back at ya. Yeah, huh. I'm gonna break it down real quick, 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 quick. Hello, host, I've gone this day. Let me tell you, this shit is sick, 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 sick. Gonna be the. <laughs> gonna walk on this motherfucking stage, 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 stage. Gonna let, oh, let rage, 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 rage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, eh, uh, eh. Uh. Can we turn off the echo? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, eh, uh, eh. Uh. Whoa, whoa. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh. Ah. Uh. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, 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 ooh, ooh, ooh. ah, ah, uh, 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 uh. Um, was that good? All right. All right. <clears throat> Best fusion of film and green screen. Editing green screen footage is hard enough, but it takes real skill to edit a bunch of nonsense over real life footage and create something that feels as natural as it was shot together. Coming back at you, by Tom. Hey. Um, <laughs> uh, I, had, I had car trouble. Oh my God. Yeah, I was driving through Ohio. Ohio. Yeah. Yeah. I remember you were here and I had car trouble. Yeah, let me. Uh, Whoa, do you hey. What are you looking at? There's something out there. Oh. I don't see anything. There's nobody there. I've been expecting you. Oh, that's me. Touch your TV.
Let's take a look at this, right? He's fucking I mean, streaming? According to our market streaming research, he has 99.9%. Did I see two at the Genius event? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, dude, I totally recognize you. You're in the hoodie. Can you please just... The hoodie. Yeah. Fuck you. I can't believe you disgusting piece of crap. What you did to me and my friends is terrible, and you should be ashamed. I hate you, and I never want to see you again. Please, 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 please,
I feel like the first film was like one, three. I'm not done yet. I'll, I'll be done. Away from being like a nine. seven or an eight. I had a lot of nines, a lot of tens. I, did, I, I was adding amazing. a lot of decimals. I did have a I lot was of eights, like, nines, and tens. I had yeah. a lot of decimals because I, I forced myself to say, no, but I can't put it quite at the same as that one. And yeah. So I'm going to do 8.2. I had a lot of like. Yeah. All right, Jacob. A lot of like Yeah, Mom? They should have put more oh, shitty ones in. Asfen? Yeah. yeah. They should have really put more shitty ones Yeah, it would have been much, a lot, a lot less <laughs> interesting, but it would have been easier to score. Yep. You know? the chat the whole time was just 10. <laughs> All <laughs> right. Am I on? Oh, God. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, out of character, very seriously. Light? Um... I would like to just quickly issue some thank yous before we move on. First thank you is to you, chat. Thank you for joining us and participating. We hope you, we created something awesome for you that you enjoyed, because um, I certainly had a great time today. So thanks for joining and giving your opinions. Next, my panel of judges, absolutely incredible. Uh, thanks for all your input, you were hilarious. Thank you for coming and supporting me, I love you guys. Next thank you, the production team that made this possible, uh, Finn, Jacob, et cetera, et cetera. What an event they put on. Long round of applause. You guys absolutely killed it. The look and feel of this was absolutely perfect. Thank you so, so much. Um, and then I gotta thank the creators who made these films. We had 200 films. Uh, we only got to watch 20 of them. Every one of these 20 were unbelievable. I didn't watch any of the films kind of because I wanted to have that experience of watching them for the first time. And when I say you blew my expectations away, I, I can't even tell you. That was unbelievable. There is so much talent. I hope you guys continue making film. I wish we could give each and every one of you an award. Uh, but we'll see what our judges came up with as it is our job to judge these films that were submitted. But we'd like to give you the same opportunity. Finn's looking at me. Um, I wanted to announce something today. Uh, something that uh, you will know more about shortly. Uh, Seer, Finn, and I, and some other folks are going to be putting together a Kickstarter shortly with a trailer, and that Kickstarter is going to announce the first feature-length film to be pre premiered on Twitch for you guys. Um, so I think we're trying to raise 10,000 bucks. We're going to do it very indie, uh, and we are going to do a premiere kind of just like this for a feature-length Hour and a half to two hour film. Oh my God. Woo! Coming up. One hour, one hour sex scene. One hour, Go yes. Do the it's math. gonna be full <laughs> penetration. I'm gonna hang dong. So in the same way that we judged you, you get a chance to judge us and we are really looking forward. I'm equal parts terrified and excited to make this, but I know with Finn and Seer, there's no way we can lose. So keep your eyes up for that. You should have a trailer within the next month as well as the Kickstarter. Uh, if you'd like to support, uh, we would really appreciate it. And we'll have that film out to you probably next summer. Okay, sometime. <laughs> it's coming. Give us next a year. month. <laughs> uh, actually, let's do it in a month. Huh, Finn? You can edit that, right? <laughs> next week. Next week. One month, baby. Um, but no, uh, sincerely, thank you. Uh, judges, do you have anything else you'd like to say before we pull in our official ballots? Any honorable mentions? I think you did a great job today. Thank you. Uh, I think you were kind of okay, actually. If you guys made this as just like a fan film, even though if you have some skills, don't limit yourself to like fan films because I think a lot of you guys actually have a future mm -hmm. in the industry. So do whatever you have to do to like succeed and, and to like, um, you know. And this Maybe is be out in Hollywood and make some professional level shit because I feel like this is like a really good start yeah. to doing some bigger, much bigger things. And you're from that industry, so that's a good compliment. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know shit about filmmaking. Um, I don't know anything about it, but that was cool. I mean, the Sick. level of <laughs> that's all I got. Candidly, like the level of talent is super, super astounding to me. Uh, I'm impressed at what each and every one of you are able to make. Um, you have the more important thing, though, which is the desire to create. And if you never let that extinguish, you can do really cool stuff. So just, I don't know. It was awesome. I don't, thought that was super inspiring. And, and to, to Wake's point, if you guys ever feel like that fire is starting to dwindle, right, and you're starting to lose that desire, 
take that energy and channel it to everything else in your life so it's still the thing you care about the most even if you don't really care about anything. And you know, if you take enough of that passion, you, who knows, maybe one of you could direct the next Citizen Kane. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean. True. Or Oppenheimer. One could mm -hmm. call it the magnum opus of American <laughs> cinema, I mean. <laughs> Andy, I'm a big fan, by the way. I just want to... Thanks, bro. Thank you. Ow, ow, bro. Ow, 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 bro. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry bro. <laughs> ow, bro. I just missed you, man. Oof. Mm. Anything else, guys? <laughs> We're stalling. Yeah. Oh, mm. thank you, Pete. Yeah, stall this. Wait, how'd you oh. do that? You see something else good? Check this out. Mine's stall fair. this. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. All right, we're heck? officially stalling. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Wait, what are we stalling for, though? To the results. They're yeah. They're oh, what? Wow. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, there's Oh, Peach, there's... keep quiet. I thought the whole thing was... He's, all... He's been yelling this whole time, you know? Amazing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, up. yes. Was... Ladies and gentlemen, if you wanted to re-watch one of these videos without us in the corner, every video you watch today is currently on the OTK Reddit. So if you are not on the Reddit, please go check it out. Watch these films, uh, give all their creators a follow. Hey, production, did we get the name of the actress that was cut off by our screen? Ah, we showed it on screen, thank you so much. Uh, give everybody a follow, give them the support that they deserve, because they all did a wonderful job. We are still stalling. Can we get some house music? Oh, have like music for the house. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. Not actually. <laughs> no, like. <laughs> unth, 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 unth. Someone in chat. So said, much more interesting. Catch yeah. me getting <laughs> liquidated on. <laughs> on cake? <laughs> I don't know. Wait, what was your guys' favorite? Um, probably Star Wars Episode Three. Yeah, I love the way that that movie concluded with Anakin and the lava and everything like that. A lot of people did not like that, but I personally. You see, think what do you think about the new Star Wars? That's coming out, the new like uh, series. I think Adam Sandler's doing incredible in it. Acolyte? So. I hear there's Tall Yoda in it. Yeah, Tall Yoda's in Acolyte. Tall Yoda. Yeah, they, 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 they made him. He's Did he younger, Yoda, like but he's length? tall now. Sick. Yeah. Was that like the height length in surgery? The, the, probably the popularity of Baby Yoda, probably really. Yeah. So the so the the Yodels when they're born, I don't know if you know this, they're born six foot tall. Really? And then and they as they get older, yeah, they get they get. Shorter. It's like Benjamin Button, but like height. So, so, so yeah. baby Yoda Compact. was actually like the very, very old Yoda? Yeah, exactly. Well, okay, but if, if that's the case, how does birthing work? Oh, it's, you can it's, actually, it's so brutal. if you've got a www. Actually go inside dot, of the penis. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I was I'm going to keep that website out, to myself. That's not really okay. baby Yoda. It's just another one of those creatures not related to Yoda. There's actually only one Yoda. And they just keep kind of augmenting it. Oh. Uh, guys, um, we are stalling because we are tallying the scores. They yeah. banned Pornhub. We have an elite That's team. True. They did. Guys, want to dig into politics? You want to talk politics? Oh, it's a great idea. Um, it's Jover for Texas. Pornhub's Jover. gone. Oh my it's God. Jover, guys. It's Jover. Um, Nick, what do you have to say about politics? Uh, my opinion mm -hmm. is that whatever Hassan says, I will follow blindly with no questioning Lord Hassan. Okay. Mm -hmm. And on not that note, uh, this was like one of the hardest streams I've ever done. And my social yeah. battery is really drained, guys, so please it don't is. talk to me after this. No eye contact either. Okay. Um, Nick, why are your nails shiny? Because I got my nails done with my friend Dean. You got your nails did. Dude, nails you can't just did. replace me. like. You don't even talk to me anymore. Oh, oh, oh my yeah, God. Okay, go, wait a minute oh. about yourself like you always do. Well, when's the okay. last time oh, you invited you us to do something? You replaced yourself. I missed, yeah, yesterday. You replaced yourself. Hey, sir, can I you show did. the text that you got yesterday from Nick? Where He's he's literally pulling out his phone right I'm now. I see right it. Now. Let me scroll down. Seer, the last thing I said is, Ashley's tacos are so good. <laughs> <laughs> what? When did you send that? <laughs> it was Ashley. I'm just happy to see you being happy and stuff. 
No, it's, it's do stuff. I'm back, dude. I took you, my three month vacation and I'm back. If I, I see extra Emily on your stream back. before I'm on there, I'm gonna be fucking. I don't no. even like extra Emily. Anymore. I texted you. Yeah. Do you, hey, I'm doing this stream if you want to do it, but also we're hanging out afterwards if you want to come. And all you said back was, I don't want to be on stream. I was waiting for the restock. Here. Okay. On That's that fair. Okay. on that note, I've been playing a lot of Plunderstorm lately. Plunderstorm is actually sick. That's what I'm saying. I'm surprised. It did good. Yeah. Um, good. So, so uh, you know, without <laughs> game, you know, without a game to play, this group isn't all that interesting. No, 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 no. We can't be. We can't be. <laughs> no, 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 we're, not, hey, we're not that interesting with the game either. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Cedar. <laughs> That's not Ace. good. He's Red so film. funny. He's so funny. You want to go to Sixth Street next week, Nick? No, don't uh, Come on, bro. Look at you. You're Jack. Still You're the ready old, to fuck. He's still the old well, Why would I want to go to 6th Street? What am I going to do there? I got two girlfriends. Well, you want to do my advice stream? I, w I refuse to ever do Man on the Street. Not he actually was Man watching your, your thing today and said he would could I, never I, do that. I could never do Man on the Street because if someone's... I just, I just can't... I what can't is Man on the Street? in general? No, like yeah. IRL interviewing people, oh, okay. talking to people. Somebody on the street talking to random people. I was I doing do that, that for an advice stream. I was giving out free advice. Oh, I'm not go? good at handling with like. I got yelled at by a lot of homeless Speech. people. What if, as opposed to free advice, you tried to charge them for the advice so on the street? I was. I'll give you some advice, but it'll be two dollars. So Someone gave it her was advice. for She's donation base for Alveus. Ah. Yes. Raise some awareness. Raise some money. Get yelled at by some homeless people. Everybody wins. There's got to be something really Do controversial. Time for bathroom. Yes. <laughs> get okay. me in trouble. For <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. True. <laughs> hey, chat, what can get Dan in trouble? Can we talk about that one? <laughs> Next year, digital voting. Guys, what do you want from us? Listen, we could have AI doing what we're we doing. We have hanging chats. <laughs> hey, no Chad, why don't you just, like, talk about, give an opinion about a video game or something. What? What would what, you say? Give an opinion about a video game or something. An opinion about a video game? Yeah. I don't know. Dragon's Dogma's, Dogma's great, but the FPS is trash. Oh, uh, optimization. About Fortnite, no build. I love Fortnite, I, I, no build. Fortnite, no build is nowhere compared to World of Warcraft's Plunderverse. Are you enjoying that? Fuck. You, bro. Are you enjoying it? They're not. It's not Wait, that. It's all right. Do you actually fight in World of Warcraft, like, for real? What do you mean? Like, the new one? Yeah, it's a BR. Yeah, it's a BR. You kill people. No shot. Well, you do that in the normal way. You kill people. Wait, that hasn't yeah, been a thing? Yeah, that's all just, like, clicking and typing keys and shit. Well, now it's, like, skill shots. Really? Yeah, it's very modern. It's Honestly, playing World of Warcraft makes you worse at Plunderstorm. That's it's cool. better to mm -hmm. not it's ever okay played. I've never heard of that. I gotta check um, it out. I like <laughs> old-school RuneScape. Thoughts? Oh, Fringe. Okay. I threw up in my mouth and swallowed <laughs> mm. You know who else swallowed? My mom. No. Oh, what the... Nah. No, why would you say that? Yo. You know what? Good defense, Nick. I see why she calls you Jason now. <laughs> you should see the, the last thing she messaged me, bro. What? I'm proud of you? No. I love you? I told her that I was, uh, that I lost weight and I was going to retire. She's like, well, now you're going you're gonna to gain the weight back and you're going to get diabetes and you're going to die. Hmm. But you're oh, going to so have to build hair. you up. So she's, she's building your, so, you up. So she's in your chat, basically, oh. is what you're saying. Right. Yeah. She's like, a, did you ban her? I, would, I refuse. Okay. She's watching everything I do. How do you feel about group six? Group six is, <laughs> no. So uh, if, if both of you don't know, my, my mom, my name is Nick, by the way, and Hello. my mom calls me Jason uh -huh. because I've embarrassed her as a, as a son, and she just calls me Jason now. Huh. Yeah. But hey, I'm doing the Eat best your own. Can. Yeah. Again, she's the probation officer. She had really high standards. She expected me to do stuff. She, she did a scared straight okay. thing for you. And for that. Uh, how far out are we on the I did that? scared straight, yeah. Yeah. I, I never got in trouble in my life, but I did steer it straight. Yeah. Yeah. But she thought you'd make something to yourself. And I didn't, sadly. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> Get over it, Mom. Yep. You know? I'm the only one right. in the, I'm uh, gonna start the family without that. a master's degree, so yeah. You know something I always crave? You know what? I, oh, you Jason, Jason, you know what yeah. you should make clear to her? What? Is it's really her fault. All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's just Jason. not your fault at all. It's I'm hearing good. we're... <laughs> yep, sorry, Will. Thank God. Oh, wait a minute. Do it I was told that we were close, and then I, all the scores were lit on fire. Are you being edged right now? Apparently, so we ladies are. Ladies and gentlemen, we Moments away. The, the score is moments away, ladies and gentlemen. Also, uh, I'm going to put an enormous amount of pressure on them by beginning the ad read that leads into the award. Mm. Okay. Mm. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the Critics' Choice 
Awards. Brought to you by the good folks at Black Magic Design. That's right, a name every filmmaker should be familiar with. I personally stream on a Black Magic camera. They have graciously provided a copy of Da Vinci Resolve, their editing, uh, color grading, and visual effects software for each of the winners tonight, mm. in addition to the cash prizes. Uh, fourth place will receive, well, there wasn't going to be a fourth place cash prize, but I was so impressed that I said I'd pay for it. Um, they'll receive 1000 bucks. Third place gets a thousand and a half dollars. Second place, two and a half thousand dollars. And our first place prize will get five thousand bucks. So, ladies and gentlemen, the results are not in. They are not in. Dang. They are crunching numbers. Math has never been our strong suit. Ladies and gentlemen, if you had a good time at this event tonight, please take to social media, tweet at us or X at us. Go to the Reddit, gram about it, maybe a TikTok. I don't know. Right. It'll inspire us to do more events like this. Uh, I have a question, Will. Yes. Uh, what's, the, what's the third place prize again? The third, oh, fuck. My f phone went to screensaver. No, it's two. Third place, not four. Fourth is Third place is 1.5. Fourth place is one. Oh, okay. Second place is 2.5. grams. place is a th five. As I said, math is not our dollars. strong suit. That's mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it. now, well, it's really. said a thousand. It is time for the results, <laughs> which are tabulated. They're being, they're being flown in now. I hear they're coming from a safe location. They're sealing them in an envelope to make sure the results weren't tampered with. The we go team, live to the scene. Sierra has something to say. Sierra is live at the scene. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, five people have been found dead on the I-65 outside of Northern What the Ohio. fuck? Stay indoors. <laughs> Buckle down the hatches, because Dorothy can't Not just being so away. morbid, Seer. Thanks, Seer. Appreciate that. Live from the scene. Hi. That can be in next year's film festival. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sincere, everybody. And with that, the results are in. Here Ooh. they come down the stairs now. In a, in a case. OMG, can't forget the bed. Why do I feel like they're actually not? Is the lovely Vanna White bringing them down the stairs? Wait, Here they the come down the stairs Vanna now. White. Ladies and gentlemen, a secured envelope. Jacob, everyone. One more round of applause for Jacob, everyone. Oh. Uh, should I give the results for every one of them or just the top four? No, you're just the winner. Okay, just the top four. I mean, you can do whatever. Top four. <sighs> okay. Let's know who fifth place is so they know how close they were to getting something. Uh, that's oh, a good idea. that's brutal. Almost made it. Okay, I. Okay. In fourth place, winner of a thousand dollars. Scream parody. Stream. Oh. You guys can react to that if you'd like. No, it's okay. Oh, okay. All right. That is fucking epic. I'm so excited. Loved that one. Sure. In third place, the mic. <laughs> for its masterful use of green stream, OTK in Star Wars. Wow. That was my favorite. That was a good one. I, I had that one in fourth. It was almost in second place, for making us all laugh, and incorporating every one of us coming back at you. Wow. That was my... Yeah, that was my that number was my, one. That was a lot. That was my number one. How'd they get second? Yeah, that was and in one. first place, for an absolutely unbelievable green screen experience, The Courier. Yeah, that was really good. Winner of $5,000. Yeah. Every one of those recipients also gets that black... Magic Software. Thank you again, Black Magic. Thank you again, Starforge Systems. And thank you again, Mad Mushroom, brought to you by OTK with their new game, Rumble Club, which you can try until the 28th. Thanks, everybody. Uh, guys, this is a dream of mine come true. This was so much fun. We hope to do it again one more time. A huge thank you to everybody who helped. Thank you to you, chat. 
and thank you so much to the filmmakers. I'll be watching some of the best of the rest films that didn't make it to the film festival on my stream soon. Thank you guys one more time and good night. Thank you. Will. We'll know. We'll know. Well done. Yay.